Mic test, mic test. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream. I hope we're all having a great day today. Excuse me while I just click out of the game and you lose all of your audio because that's the way these games work. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way to fix that, but uh, it should be fine because now you have my dulcet tones to listen to. And what could be better? A lot of things, actually. A lot of things could be quite a lot better than that. <laughs> but, um, you yeah. know. Oh well. So right now, uh, we are about to play some more 
Trails in the Sky second chapter. There we go. So I had to, uh, I had to take a quick sec to, uh, uh one, uh, exit out of the timer. That way it's not running in the background. And then also open up the, like, uh, BP guide for, uh, for the game. That way we don't have to worry about it. Also, you know what, while I'm here, uh, I might as well come over here and add chapter six to the stream title. There we go. And there we go. Back. Load. So last time we went through the arduous task, the urgent task of um, defeating Gilbert. And arduous, arduous, arduous it was. Because holy crap did it take a lot to deal with those bastards. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, use some of his heal um, on her. Because it's not all that much, but I don't want her to be... I don't want Estelle, Bestel, to be super low health as we're moving forward. Come on, let me interact with him. See, I like how you can tell that to imitate them being on the ground, they, they're they just kind of floating. <laughs> because, like, right now, Joshua should be, like, essentially behind him, but his shadow and stuff are going underneath the knocked-out person's model. And I think that's hilarious. But we're heading this way. Um, where am I? So I am there. We need to go over to the stern second floor. There are things along the main way. There are things. I wonder if those um I wonder if those black um I wonder if those black things are where like the uh, bars will go up. So yeah. Let's um yeah, let's check that. Uh, oh perfect. Uh, and I do also have to remember that Estelle has passive um, EP regen. Okay, so there we go. And I believe that this way was also um, one that has uh, them. Because I went up. Yeah, I'm gonna. I act. I want to activate him just so I don't think I didn't. Star rabbits, nice. Were you hoping somebody would come along and put more stuff for you to take? Um, but yeah, so uh, I am now uh, like not, now not sponsored essentially by uh, by Raid Shadow Legends. So that is a that is an update. I ended the campaign um, before I went live. That way I wasn't beholden by them. Um, let's put the gladiator headband on, and then, um, what else? I should probably put one of these, fruit poison free, confused blind, poison blind. Um, hmm. I would rather not get confused. Confused sucks. Um, but yeah, so that was, uh, that was a good time. Uh, and then... Also, right before I started streaming, started doing some tax stuff, which is always fun. We all we all love hearing about tax stuff. Okay, activate that. That way I'm sure I did it. Um, there we go. Let's do that. Ooh, I need to change the layout of um, that dealio. He needs to be up front. Uh, what are you guys weak to? You guys aren't weak to anything. Uh, I'll just do Ariel. And... Are you serious? You... Of course, you move out of the way. Didn't think that they were going to move. God, and they're like moving. They're like moving, moving away. Oh, now you go for the physical. You bastards. Okay, doing... About a thousand damage, so that's on a base thing. Alert Siren, that's fine. Soul Blur, oh god damn it, why'd I do Soul Blur on that one? Um, yeah, uh, 
this is going poorly. Let's just do that. Yes. Okay. We're not done yet. Tiara bomb. Uh, that was that was a poor show, but it did remind me to um, battle position. He needs to be up front, up front and center, please. Um, that's out to the right back. That's where I came from. That puts that up. Okay. Go. Ooh, monster speed. Was not expecting monsters. Um, frankly, was hoping that monsters would not appear. White Gehenna. Uh, okay. Uh, Abyss Fall. Um, no, we're just gonna do Death Scream. Be done with it. Uh, art. And. You guys are doing a lot of damage, and it's not appreciated. Okay. But, um, he's now able to do things. <laughs> uh, airstrike. Or actually, no. Let's not waste EP on that. Are you serious? You're blind. I should have wasted. I should have used EP on it. Go. Let's go for another blind strike. Nope. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Bolt. Let's move out. Okay. So Estelle is probably far below level seven. Rings Kane. Good. We're good shoes, and you'll never see defeat. <laughs> Ceramic rod. 588 to 660. Damn, that's good. Hey, Fontano. How's it going, my man? Glad to see you back. Um, fully revives. Okay, so now I can swap you back out. Um, let's put glove gear back on. That way. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I already put your orbits back. Um, you're going to... That's fine because she's just gonna get it all back, hopefully all back, um, in turbo mode. But yeah, hope you're doing well, Fontana, on this fabulous Thursday. Feels odd to be streaming because I don't usually stream on Thursdays, but you know, want to uh, make sure I get all the good trails in the sky goodness. Good go uh, going good, right in my nose for CS2 Max AP. Ooh, fun, fun, fun. See, the annoying part I remember about, um, uh, gang, I, I remember I missed one specific thing of AP in CS2 when I was playing it casually because I didn't. Um, when you go out to Ruer, you need to go to the not Socks and Mountain Path to get a cutscene, and that gets you AP, and I remember I didn't do that. <laughs> and I think that was the thing that didn't let me get max uh, Academy points in that game. Um, or it was like really close to me not being able to get it because I had missed just that one small basic thing. So, uh, make sure you get that. <laughs> it's really, it's it's a very small thing as well. Like, it's not, it's not a big deal. See, cuz one that they said, don't I have to, that damn you bastard, I don't feel like fighting. I can run. See, I will say I do like this game because there's no, like, success gauge on run or not. It is, you can you can run from literally every fight, or, or you can't. Is that, oh, it actually does damage. Oh, okay, that's dumb. Um, remember in one of my CS4 playthroughs, I forgot one of the student fights in the branch campus. At that point, I already finished the cube and didn't want to go back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can definitely imagine that being a massive pain in the patootie. Um, actually, is there a is there a "you are here" sign over here? Because, because I really thought that um, you know, here's I'll just load this one. 
I'll just load the earlier one where I have access to the you are here sign and look at it. Um, okay, so there's actually no way for me to get to those, that middle section in those three off-shooting rooms currently. Because the walls just come up. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and that means I accessed all three of the, or both of the rooms that I, I was able to get things in. Because I got the Star Rabbits in the south room and the Ceramic, uh, or the, um, not Ceramic, the, the Pole uh, in the other room. Um, okay. And that is why we appreciate good save and load features. Because it lets you do shit like that. Um, god damn it. <laughs> we appreciate good save load features, even when you don't need to, and if you just move forward a little bit, you would have been fine anyway. Fuck me. <laughs> uh. Ugh, delicious water. Okay, so I wonder... So we fought Gilbert, we beat the crap out of him. wonder what we're doing now. So we are here. Brig cells. Gonna have to go there. Elevator to hangar. Um, yeah, once again, that middle path is just kind of there to mess with you. So I need to go on the southern path, the down path, because I can't do north, because there's a blocker point there. So south, first south, get that, and then back over, uh, and then middle, and then either. Okay, so south, south, back, middle. Okay. Um, over here, south, um, um, south, proxy puppet, what's that? Uh, is that one of the things that just lets me take a hit or take a take a death? Where's that one? Yeah, it's just one. Now you don't understand how I always come up with 500 unique treasure chest phrases that are brimming with sarcasm. <laughs> You're right, I don't. It's a, that's big dick energy right there. And then middle. Uh, okay, and then it doesn't matter which because I can come through here. And here's another chest. Oh yeah, give me out that Sabbath. Uh, say, haven't we met before? No, I don't think so. Okay, can I get... See, I do want to take some of the fights, because uh, right now Estelle is, I think, under-leveled. Because I think you're supposed to kind of use this as a point to be like, Hey, you have Joshua again, use him, uh, and just destroy enemies, get XP for her. Right. Yeah, at least not counting the 30 that all have my Erebonian cousin is mute. <laughs> yeah, there are quite there are quite a few repeats. Um, but you know that that I would say that that's to be expected, frankly. Let's move out. Um, okay, can I get some like big ones? Yeah, good. Are you serious? I didn't. Wow, that one. That one took skill to not do right. Yeah, oh, you bastard. Um, I'm gonna believe that you just don't like soul blur because you don't have a soul to blur. Whack, okay, whack! Oh, damn it, you bitch! Okay, leveled up. That's good. Yeah, I need to take, I need to take that fight a couple more times. Um, turn around, bitch. We are not done yet. <laughs> My name is Ichigo Kurosaki. <laughs> and I'm a Shinigami. <laughs> and also, literally everything else. <laughs> uh, it's funny because I'm. Because, like, that is the case in Bleach, where it's like, quite literally, we're gonna introduce this subset of whatever, and Ichigo is somehow gonna fit into it. And that's just the way it always works. That's that. Let's move out. 
Uh, and it's just comical. Okay. Take this fight a couple more times. Uh, how did I not get this? Single, true flicker, line, head, AT delay, whatever. Do that. Good. Uh, good man going. Go, Ariel. Bang. Place a kike! Um. See. Honestly, it's probably not even worth it. Um. Gonna. Uh, that's over to the hangar. Let's assume that I'm not gonna get a heal. I need to be safe. Okay. Save it over that. We can get our EP back. Okay. God, it feels weird to be playing this game immediately after playing Cold Steel 2. <laughs> like, it feels fine. It's just weird, right? Like, completely different angle, completely different, like, arts and, well, not different arts, but using arts. Play style is essentially much different. Oh, I wonder if I'm gonna have three fights in here. Or if I'm just gonna be able to get into the hangar I need to. Um, yeah. <laughs> I just jump around all trails games at this point. Yeah, I mean, once you once you get used to it, right, you're, you'll be fine. But it, it really just is just quite jarring. Especially if you're going from future ones to old ones. And that's what originally made me bounce off this, uh, the first game in the fir in the first place, because I was going from Cold Steel One to uh, Trails in the Sky, and that just was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy! Since when does an airship have its own landing port? Yes, the Crimson Ark, the glorious pride of the society, is meant to be a mothership of sorts. It can provide berthing to up to twelve smaller vessels. That's unbelievable. I secured a ship earlier for our escape. It's in the hangar farthest in. Got it. <laughs> That's just enough time to be ambushed thrice. Uh, ooh, fight. There we go. And take that. Um, Shadow spear. Uh, let's do that. Sure. Let's see how you're doing this. Eh, sense. Soul Blur. There we go. Really wish it didn't explode. <laughs> God damn, I gotta do the full quest. I hate the full quest. Which one is the uh, full quest? Is that the Finding the Sheep one in Nord? Because that one... Yeah, that one's not great. Like... <laughs> nah, the horse in Nord. Oh, okay. Well, I thought it was the sheep. Or no, yeah, full, yeah. It's the one where it's the one where you have to travel around Nord searching for a thing, small animal. Yeah, that one's not fun. And you're like, guys, how are you this bad at catching a small animal? Like, you guys are meant to be highly trained military academy students. One of you lives in Nord, like, <laughs> or one of you is Nordic. Nordic THQ. Like, surely this horse should not be outrunning you as you are on either motorcycles or fully grown horses. But it does. It makes you chase it. Because fuck you! <laughs> Seven punch attack, flank the full. Yeah. Or just someone hit it with a goddamn, like, sleep art or something. Throw some food at it. <laughs> Food does that in this in that world. If you cook it bad enough, you get you get status effects. Um, let's just do evil eye. Great, I at delayed the two that I could have just one shot anyway. Oh, well. That's that. let's move out. Let's move out. Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, once you start doing the full AP for um, Cold Steel Three, you're gonna have to make sure you. Um, put, uh, have enough, or you're gonna have to make sure you pick up the recipes. 
could run a paper on how little sense the food makes. Oh yeah, I mean it's JRPG food making. It does, usually never makes sense. But yeah, when you when you do CS3s all um, well uh, all AP, you need to. Actually, I'm pretty sure in CS3 and CS4 you get AP based on the character notes and the recipes because you have to hand those into people, right? Like you have to show them to people. Because I was thinking of the quest in Crossbell, where it's like you need to have a certain amount of recipes and food made to give to the wo to give to the girl to make the bread. Because apparently eating a soup will inspire you to make a cool bread. Uh, <laughs> you're a bit late, aren't you? I think it's probably gonna be... No? Okay, it's Campanile. I thought it was gonna be Ren. Maybe in four, that's probably unification points or whatever. Mm. You! Campanella. Joshua, how cold! You have that nice long heart-to-heart -heart with Luve, and you don't even stop by to say hello to your old friend Campanella? I didn't think you were still on the ship. Let me guess. You know I was coming this way. <laughs> well, I am the one the Grand Master sent to observe the plan. It's my job to know us more than the others do, after all. <laughs> it's impressive, though. You've changed quite a bit in the, what, half decade since we last met? You've become much more of a man, hmm? And you literally haven't changed at all. Even your appearance is exactly the same, as though you haven't aged a day. <laughs> well, I make sure to never skip my daily skincare, after all. See, that is something that I really am curious about with Campanella. Like, he literally just does not change. Like, what's going- like, who is this character? Like, we know the deal with a lot of other Enforcers. Even Enforcer number one. <laughs> but he's Enforcer number zero, and that's a special thing. I've heard you enjoy a good romp in a dress every now and then. Perhaps I could introduce you to some cosmetics. Uh, could you be any more aggravating? You were waiting here for us because you wanted to fight, right? Just fight us already! <laughs> oh my goodness, what a strong little girl. It means he's a persona protagonist, basically. <laughs> he's the fool. <laughs> persona! <laughs> Uh... I'd wondered what kind of girl could pluck your heart like a grape, Joshua. She's a good match for you, huh? Wait, who plucked whose heart like... Aw, oh, I forget myself, though. Your proper girlfriend is that bandit girl, isn't it? Oh, Joshua, you're such a stud. <laughs> Widely spaced ellipses. That's quite enough of your nonsense. I have no idea how you even know about Josette, but either way... Our abilities in combat should be about the same, and I doubt Estelle will stand. Will just sit, sit idly by. Do you still intend to stop with this force? <laughs> no, no, that wasn't my intent at all. As I said, I'm simply here to observe the plan unfold. I've no de I've no duty to impede you two directly. Wait, really? Then why bother waiting for us here? <laughs> to say my farewells, of course. But, you know, just saying goodbye isn't very exciting at all. So I thought I'd help make your escape story a bit more... riveting. Snapping my fingers. Oh god, is it the thing that Gilbert pilots in Cold Steel 4? Kinda. W what The pale Apache flying orbital puppet? The society already has a working models? And so a new obstacle arises to block the reunited heroes. How will this affect their legend? Let's find out. Oh my god, it's flying! Whatever shall we do? Um, okay. 14,000 of uh, those. Um, do that. Whack it a little a, ta a tad. Um, can I hit you with morale still? No, I can't. You're just out of reach. Unfortunate. Um, let's do that on you, and then I'll have Joshua queued up to steal the next turn. There we go, because I want that crit! Oh, and it's 200? You dying. Black Fang. 
Yeah, yeah, Black Fang, Black Fang, Black Fang, Black Fang. Yeah, Black Fang. God damn it, you bitch. How dare you call for allies? Oh no, Joshua. Whatever shall we do? Sunday, 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 Monster Truck Rally. <laughs> you'll pay for the seat, but you'll only need the edge. Oh god, no. You bastard. Uh, I need to keep. Oh god. Oh, lordy, lordy, lord. Whatever shall I do? Right. Uh, craft. 18 to Y, please. Thank you. Oh no, you dark matted me. By Jehovah's Witness, you dark matted me. <laughs> uh, luckily, I've never been. Uh, Jehovah's Witness has never contacted me. Happy about that. Um, okay, I don't know if I'm in range, but I do just need to kind of take you out. Boom, get out of here. Um, craft. Uh, I don't know if he's in range, so I'm just gonna move him out of it just to be sure. Break cannon! Okay, good. Didn't hit anyone, that's what we like to say. Um, I could do. Um, napalm breath. Napalm breath! Um, clock down, debilitate. Orble down. Oh my god! He has an. <laughs> Denver seals all arts and decreases ADF. For everyone? Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're doing that. Because that will let me just hit him with a really hard thing. Um. Yup, that's a really good art. Because, like, even if it doesn't mute him, yeah, the ADF still occurs. So, like, that'll just make it a tad easier. Oh no, Bullet Mirage! Even though Orville Down existed before I ran second chapter. I mean, it may have only started existing in second chapter. I'm not sure. I don't know. You tell me. I would like to know. Excuse me while I spit out these freestyle raps. <laughs> I do not know how to freestyle. Nor do I think uh, I want that skill. It did not exist in first chapter. Okay. Um, let's see, how much life do you have? You have 6,000 life? We're gonna do quick morale, get your strength up. Oh god, you just kind of ran over him, dude. Um, craft, dual strike, attack. Um, and we're gonna take that. Get the strength up. Bang, bang, bang. Damn, that did not do nearly as much damage as I wanted it to. Um. T delay. Ooh, True Flicker does a T delay. Swam. Yeah. <laughs> Get body, bitch. Okay. Um. Let's heal him a tad, because he's not low, but he's at slightly less than half. Or about half. Damn. It's just better to make sure that he's not going to get one shot. Um, best art in F-Chat first chapter was freaking Arrow Storm or something. You know, I can, I'm guessing it, because I'm guessing that was one of, like, the easiest to get, like, hit everything crafts, or arts. God, look at, look at that difference in XP. God. Did any, do any of the, uh, fights on the airship have shiny palm spawns? Wasn't even hit at all. It was like XL range. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> well done, well done. I expected no less of Joshua, but the Missy is really very good as well. You, you, enough of your stupid messing around. Now, now, there's no need to be so angry. Anyway, it's time for the fool whose act is done to exit. Stage right. How do I know he exits stage right? He's teleporting away. What? <laughs> well then, you two. Let's meet again. Soon. Like, in fact, 
That's just like exiting stage center or back. He's gone. That's just a little escape trick he knows. Don't worry about it. More importantly... Hey, you sure they came this way? Do you hear the sound, Jenny? No doubt about it. Estelle, we have to hurry. Going to game back forward now. Okay. Right. Lock the door. Chapter 6 has no palms. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'll get the ship launched immediately. C got it! Activation key. Recognized. Confirmation code. Entered. And we go. And we can go. Yeah, time for Mario Kart. Ah! I'm opening the hatch via remote control. We'll be launching immediately, so take a seat. Okay. Time to go for a ride across the countryside. It's them! Fire! Don't let them escape! We're gonna shoot our, our, our pellet launchers at this fucking armored airship! Because that works so well! <laughs> We're falling! <laughs> it's fine. We'll correct shortly. There we go. I think they can just fly away! Hell with that! Sorry, the airships were going after them! This music is so good. Oh my god, they're chasing us in airships. Whatever shall we do? Oh, this is a radar, isn't it? There's, um, three lights getting closer, I think. Mm -hmm. Pursuers. We need to evade them somehow. Um, Joshua? You know how to fly an airship? The basics, at least. The ship doesn't have any armaments, however. This isn't the best situation for us to be in. Oh, great. Wait, why did you go for a ship with no weapons? The ship was undergoing maintenance, so the security was lighter. It was an emergency, so I didn't have time to be picky. An emergency? Um, you don't mean... You don't mean the fact that I was caught on the Glorious? <laughs> yeah, enough. I'm going to be flying rough, so hang on to something. <laughs> oh no! Whatever shall we do? They're firing rockets at us! <laughs> All I can think of is the Family Guy episode where uh, it's a giant. I think, I think it's a giant monkey or it's something. That's something, and Peter and Quagmire in like a biplane, <laughs> firing off guns. They're just making their noises. Oh my god. Yeah, dodge them bullets, Joshua. You're a good pilot. Oh yeah, look at him, evading like a pro. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this is bad. This guy's chasing us seem pretty good. The pilots have been put through one of the society's pilot-focused enhancement programs, most likely. They will be very good at adapting to the unusual. Before more common tasks like chasing down a ship, they're very good. I get it. Like those guys from earlier. If they're bad at adapting, though, maybe we can cause some kind of accident? Yeah, were we hit? No, wait. That wasn't our ship. Oh my god, what's happening? Who's shooting down the ship? Oh my god, it's the Bobcat! Yeah, Bobcat! Woo! <laughs> That's... No way! The Bobcat? But why? Joshua! Joshua, you're on that ship, right? The voice... That voice... Yes, it's me. What are you guys doing here? Thought you'd be out of Liberal by now. <laughs> My brothers got all worried that you might run into a problem. So we've been shadowing that flying whale for a while. 
<laughs> really? Who was the one begging us to follow Joshua, looking all worked up and ready to faint? K Kyle! Enough, you two! And besides, we have a little payback to give the society ourselves. We thought we could stick around here until we settled our other debt. I see. Thank you. You saved me. <laughs> yeah, you better be grateful. I've had an eye on you for a while and noticed you weren't firing back. There's some kind of problem? I had to take a ship with no armaments. It's proven to be a bit of an issue. I can imagine. What do we do then? Right then. We split them in two. You can probably lose one, right? One? No problem. It's a plan then. Blessings of Adios be with you. Joshua, take care, you hear me? I got my PlayStation wrap up 13 games for 533 hours. Sounds like me. That's good. I mean, that's pretty that's pretty damn good. I don't think I got my PlayStation wrap up yet. Rank, this is one of the I feel like this is one of the years where I played quite a few games on uh, PlayStation just because I got the PS5. So, played play a few games on there. And also I streamed a few games on my PlayStation, right? Because yeah, last year, last year my first like, yeah, because I I played Call of Duty 4 on in 2021. CS4 was most at 203. Jeez, man. Jeez, man. Uh, yeah, CS4 is gonna probably be pretty up there for me on PlayStation. Other than that, I played a lot of Ratchet and Clank. Played quite a bit of D uh, Dark uh, Demon Souls. Played World Ends with You. You know. Uh, well, two playthroughs and probably some sleeping. Mm, yeah, that's always the thing where you're like, ah, oh, goddammit, can I subtract sleeping hours or, like, idling hours <laughs> from from the time? Like, I wasn't actually playing for that long, I swear. <laughs> Estelle, is there anything on the radar? Nope, all the lights are out, it looks like. I'm vibrating so goddamn hard. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Seems like we completely lost them. That's why I go by days for records, yeah. Good. <laughs> She's cold. She's shivering. Um... I gotta say, I was surprised by the bandits. They're kind of okay. I never thought they'd show up out of the blue to save us like that. Maybe I've been a bit too hard on them. It's true. Cold sky... <laughs> Trails of Cold Sky Steel, second chapter, end of saga. <laughs> uh. It's true. I just saw us as two parties bound to a contract. I suppose relationships between people aren't that simple. <laughs> What's this all of a sudden? Okay, I'm gonna stop acting like she's cold and just think that's probably like a graphical bug or something. I don't know what, like, I was, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a, like, maybe the chat boxes are attached to the model themselves, but, like, for some reason this is referencing it as moving in some way, whatever. Put two people together and maybe they'll fight, maybe they'll be friends. All kinds of stuff can happen. That's just how people act, you know? Yes. How people act was never very clear in the world I lived in. Oh. Kill or be killed. Take or be taken from. Until I met you, my life was an endless cycle of such simplicity. But, um, even you had some good times with Luve and your sister, right? Luve told you about that, did he? It's true I have those memories, but they feel like someone else's. A video of this weird glitch in Even <laughs> Evenical, where that hunter girl started bouncing like crazy on the status screen. Nice. <laughs> put that put that in the uh, Discord, I'd like to say. What? After my heart was shattered, my memories of Hamel were no longer my own. I think it's because I gave up on being human and chose to become a puppet. I do clearly remember my sister's death. She and I were attacked by a man lying in wait for stragglers. Oh yeah, and I also read that, um, like, the bonus manga that Neko Dave was talking about, um, about Luve. It was really good. I liked it. The man swad me away and forced my sister to the ground. Oh. At the time, I was too young to know what he probably meant to do. All I knew is that he was hurting my sister and I had a bad feeling. So I grabbed onto the man's back. I ended up getting crushed and thrown off immediately. Somehow, though, I... 
I'd managed to get my hands on the man's gun. Thinking about it, I wonder. Did I have a talent for killing people even then? I'd never even been taught how, but I still removed the safety and pulled the trigger with no hesitation. The man fell over, spewing blood from his mouth, looking... confused. At that moment, I finally realized I'd shot a man. He wasn't quite dead yet, though. He jumped up, combat knife out, screaming and gurgling incoherently with murder in his eyes. I curled up and closed my eyes like I was being attacked by a wild animal. But there was no impact. I was embraced by something soft. When I opened my eyes, there was my sister, gently smiling at me. The man had collapsed at some point, and Luve was standing there, dumbstruck with horror. My sister, created by Luve, gave me her gave me her harmonica. And then she closed her eyes. I remember every detail, you see. But even talking about it like this doesn't make it feel sad. It's just a slight tugging at the heart, like reading a stranger's diary. And the same is true of my time with you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for putting in the chat. No, I, didn't, I do think I was changed a little by touching your warmth. I learned happiness and joy with you, and finally came to think of you as someone dear. But somewhere it all felt as if it was distant. I suspect that's what my real self was feeling. The empty void. Under the broken puppet that is Joshua Astray. Goodbye, Estelle. Please do not chase after me anymore. I was a little happy to see you one last time, but even so, we should not be together. Being with someone like me will never be good for you. And to be frank, you'll only be a burden to me. So, you're a terrible liar, you know that? What? Joshua... Listen, I've seen and heard a lot since you left, and now, now I think I understand. I understand the reason you left. The real reason. The one you haven't even admitted to yourself. You can't bear to be with me because your heart's broken? You feel like being with me is someone else's story that you can never ever have? <laughs> Come on, I'll be a bad influence on you? Or you'll hold me back? What? <laughs> That's all a bunch of lies. Every single one, especially that last one. They aren't lies. No, Joshua, really, listen. I understand now. You're really, really scared. What? You think it's your fault that your sister died and you'd never ever forgive yourself if something happened to me. That's why you ran away from me that night. Everything else was just pinned on afterwards. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Weissman's conditioning left me incapable of feeling fear. He took away my ability to feel it so that I wouldn't hesitate during an operation. You're a little off target, I'm afraid. No, darn it, I'm not talking about something that superficial. Joshua, you said you can't help but feel like your sister's death happened to someone else, right? Do you know why that is? Of course. It's because I'm a broken wreck of a human being. Nuh uh. No, no, wrongo. We aren't letting self pity get in the way here. Joshua, you. You just don't want to remember how awful it was when your sister died. How you blame yourself for it. Unconsciously, you've been trying to think of it as someone else's problem. To get away from it. A lot of people do that. I... And on that ship, don't tell me you weren't afraid there. I mean, there's a lot of work just to sneak on board, right? You didn't even hesitate to help me escape. It's almost as if you were trying to get me away from danger as fast as you possibly could. Danger you were afraid of. You aren't a broken wreck, Joshua. You're just scared. Mostly because you care for people so much it breaks your heart. And you're lying to yourself about it. That's how I see it, and I know I'm right. But I... I can't... 
Why? Can you? Have you forgotten, Buster? I'm Liberal's number one Joshua Watcher. Now that I know all about your past too, I'm the biggest authority on Joshua Astray in the world. I know more than Weissman or Luva, even. Joshua scared, and Joshua brave. Joshua lying, and Joshua honest. My beloved Joshua. I finally found you, Joshua. I finally reached you. Hugs! Yes! Ugh, feelings. Yeah, feelings. Stop. But I... I need to say this. I don't want to just be one more person you feel like you have to protect. As long as I'm a bracer, I can't stay away from danger. It's not going to change even if you leave again, Joshua. It's what I have to do to be who I am. And so... And so, Joshua, let's make a promise. A promise? Let's go forward together from now on and protect each other. Equally. I'm strong enough to be able to cover your back now, Joshua. If you're at my side, there's nothing I can't beat. No matter what kind of crazy nonsense the society throws at me, I won't die. So, so you don't need to be afraid for me anymore. I promise. This is down. I am crying. Tears. Why? How? I haven't been able to cry since, since Karen died. I could never even shed tears as an act. But now, uh, it's okay. Hugs. No one's looking. Cry as long as you want, and I'll just hold you like this. Colonel Mustang. What a terrible day for rain. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that was, um, a little embarrassing. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, right. Here, let me return this. Here's your Hermeticer. Oh. Seriously, Joshua? This is your only memento of Karn, right? You shouldn't just fob this off on others without thinking, buddy. Yes. It was a bit thoughtless of me, wasn't it? I was kind of wondering. What kind of person was she? What kind of person? Hmm. She was friendly to everyone she met. Kind almost to a fault. She had dignity born of humility. She and Luve. Luve back then. Perfect together. I was always a little jealous of them as a child. Friendly, kind, and dignified. So she was kind of like Chloe then. <laughs> it's a good comparison, thinking about it. Karen didn't look like Chloe. She had my eyes and hair. But they were similar in spirit. Still? Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, speaking of Chloe, you realize you worried her and everyone else sick too, and not just me, right? You have some serious groveling to do when we get back. Estelle, I don't... If you say something like, I don't have the right to go back, I'm just gonna drag you back by your hair, okay? Sure, you're a Weissman spy, but you didn't even know it, right? Even helping the bandits get their ship back was done to try and stop the society, right? If you tell Dad about the society's plans, that'll make it even. That's what they call a plea bargain, right? That's not quite how a plea bargain works. Besides, even if you want to stop the society, you can't get back on that ship, can you? In that case, your only option is to work with us, Buster. She's called him Buster three times in a ten-minute sequence. If you hadn't been abducted, I could have destroyed the Glorious as I originally planned. Uh, uh yeah, sorry. Uh, wait, hold on, how can you say destroy the Glorious so easily? Head of the society we're talking about, but are you really going to kill them all? It'll take nothing less to stop Weissman and Luve. And even then, there's a decent chance that they'd survive the destruction of the Glorious. For the love of... No, actually, I think it's for the best I got caught. You're going to do something completely crazy, Joshua. <laughs> You're all <laughs> Estelle's being all cute and naive again, aren't you? No, not at all. It's just that you have matured a lot as a person while you've been apart. But ultimately, you're still Estelle. That <laughs> makes me happier than I thought possible. Oh, um, 
Come on, Estelle. Why the heck does Joshua's smile still make my heart race? It's because it's been a while, isn't it? Still gets me right there. Hmm? Estelle? Hey, got along pretty well with that tomboy, right? Tomboy? Oh, you mean Josette. Well, at first we had our differences. Even so, we came to understand each other pretty well by the end, I'd say. Understand each... Did you kiss her? What? Question? Answer? Give? <laughs> right. Of course I didn't. Our relationship wasn't like that. Oh, um, good. Well, um, then? <laughs> Can I request a do-over of that night? <laughs> a do-over. Oh. The, the first kiss is really important to a girl, you know? And it was all your fault that mine got wasted. So you've got to take responsibility, mister. Still. Fucking do it, little bitch boy. <laughs> Still. I suppose I do. <laughs> you know, that night that you drugged me and ran away, right? <laughs> that sounds worse out of context. <laughs> Yeah, right? Where's my is? Like, just straight up, just, boom, drugged. <laughs> did he, did he bring her to the room and put her in bed at least? Or did he just, like, leave her there? Because I feel like I remember him just kind of jumping away into the void. And like, it was like a maid who had to bring her to the bed. Mm. <laughs> they snog him! Hey, Joshua! <laughs> it's probable, but the screen goes black. Okay. Wasn't sure if they ever touched upon it in, like, other side conversation. Wow, sure, her voice must have been loud, or she must have been using the speaker, because, like, they were still a good hundred feet up. <laughs> oh, God, snogging. I didn't know what that meant until <laughs> HP book said, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, see, I'm pretty sure... I remember there being like one of those like Disney Channel movies or like it was a movie that aired on Disney Channel that was like about British like schoolgirls and like I only saw like the commercial for it but it was like they kept saying snogging <laughs> and I was like oh and then it showed up in Harry Potter and I was like hey I know what this is <laughs> that tomboy what uh, heck you got away too huh I was hoping you'd stay caught Gee, maybe I should have thrown you at them as a distraction. But I don't think they'd like grimy tomboys. Come on, Josette, don't start a fight. You won't object to a brief truce, I hope, Miss Bracer. Yeah, well, you guys did save us back there after all. So, thank you, really. We wouldn't have made it without you. <laughs> There's no need to thank us. Psh, I don't remember saving you. So just keep your thanks to yourself, okay? Okay, one of you's getting dragged off to prison after all, it looks like. Uh, side ashtray. What are your plans now? Huh? I came to ask if you wanted to come with us, but, uh, I'm thinking it looks like we don't even need to ask, huh? Yes. Forgive me. I'm not really certain how things will go from here. Right now, though, I will be traveling with Estelle. Joshua? <laughs> I see! Oh. Oh, whatever. At least there's still a chance. There's not a chance, Josette. Just move on. Just move on, girl. What? <laughs> Joshua, remember, you get tired of Miss Airhead over there, just come back to us. You'll always have a place on the Bobcat, okay? Walk over here and call me Airhead one more time, you greasy tomboy. <laughs> Thank you, Josette. Don, Kyle, I all love you so much. <laughs> That's our line. Good luck and stay safe. Hopefully we'll meet again someday. See you later. Go start that air shipping business. Turn over a new leaf. And away we go. And away we go. And here we stay. Estelle. What is it? You do understand that the enemies we've made are overwhelmingly powerful. You were captured primarily as bait to lure me out, I suspect. That way, the Glorious wouldn't be destroyed in Weissman's absence. Oh. And to be honest, Luve probably could have saved the ship after kicking our bodies into the sea. I'm fairly sure the reason he didn't was out of pity. Pity of how weak I was, I think. 
All of the Enforcers are the same. In terms of pure power, they are all Masters far stronger than me. Even Ren. We have picked what will probably be the hardest fight of our lives. Yeah. But I do promise. I promise I won't ever run from reality again. I will walk with you until the very end. Joshua? I promise too. To the very end. Except Blue Blanc. He's just weird. <laughs> Yeah, right? He's he's a master of being weird. <laughs> and, you know, keeping you in place by using your shadows, because that's a thing you can somehow do. That's a technique. <laughs> like, I would love to see people sciencing it, right? The people in this world trying to science the shit out of how that works. <laughs> being like, you know, by all logical reasoning, this shouldn't work. <laughs> By all, by all, by all known laws of aviation, the bumblebee should not be able to fly. <laughs> Chapter six: The whereabouts of Bonds end. Yeah, yay! <laughs> uh, didn't you watch the Naruto? Shikamaru does that too, doesn't he? Yeah, but that's like that's ninja magic. <laughs> yeah, he does the um. Oh fuck! What's it called? Uh, shadow prison or no it's mind prison that's that we, we, you know does he does the shadow ah oh, fuck I forget what it is but dude he has like some of the best fights just because it's all about intelligence H him versus Tamari in the tuning exams fucking peak good fight Uvan could have taken a trip to the east his past is shrouded in mystery that's true he could straight up just be using magic as well okay so on to chapter 7 so, I'm going to uh, click out uh, and boom, update that. There we go. This is Blue Blanc. <laughs> the device is in place. I await the beginning of the ceremony. And I'm standing on top of the pillar because I'm extra like that. Cornelia Tower. This is Direwolf. All done here. Hurry up and get this started. So happy that the snowboarding game doesn't give you AP. Oh, there's no, like... I know that there's one quest in Cold Steel 2 that you have to do to snowboard. That's one where you catch the sheep or whatever thing. That is... It's the... It's the obligatory Hot Springs Peeper monster quest. Yeah, this is Bewitching Bell. The beta is in place. Oh, there's that one, but the levels don't give you AP. Yeah. That is nice. They just give you new boards. And bragging rights. <laughs> Ren here. I'm ready, so we can start whenever. Okay. The moment is upon us. Let us begin stage three of the plan. Oriole, sealed in the darkness which Septium's light does not reach, may you gaze upon our poor material world through your gospel. Oh god, what's happening? Whatever er, is going on? Oh god, it's yellow. Gaze upon these four pillars. They are the final shackles that bind you. Simple they may appear to be, but know that their purpose was long shrouded by the decree of man. With hands which bend the will of all, reveal their true form. Imagine if they went through all the trouble to do the Gospels, but they didn't know what to say. They're just like, shit. Weird magic stuff's going off, but it's not activating because I don't know the magic words. Which conveniently are in the same language that I speak. Because apparently, d different languages don't exist in common way in this, uh, <laughs> in the Trails world. I like how you can see the edge of the skybox, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> or of the view in the long way. Like, you look over to the sides and it just curves. <laughs> Organs they don't matter, and Weissman's just extra. That's also probably the case. Because, like, the thing is, they'll use, like...
They'll use like words like chow and other things. Like they'll use French and Italian and Spanish and stuff, but it's like where where do the other non non English and what would be Japanese languages happen? Ladies, gentlemen, our blessed celebration is ready. Whenever Emma does magic, she speaks two languages at once. So I don't know. Yeah, that one is interesting. And what the second language she speaks is what like Latin, I think. Now go, enjoy it to your fullest. Excellent. We, the enforcers of Ouroboros, by order of an Anguis, we shall now liberate you of your shackles. Chapter 7, The Tetracilic Towers. I wonder where I'm going this chapter. No, oh, yes, enjoy this chapter, Bison. Fun, fun, fun. No missable BP this chapter. Nice. Grand Cell Castle. <laughs> Let's everyone look up and see <laughs> and see the stuff. <laughs> see the yellow. This chapter killed me when I was doing setup. And that's the situation as it stands, and all the information I gathered while aboard the Glorious. Hmm. This is like looking into the maw of madness. To think a monster of a ship like that is intruded into liberal. What could they possibly plan to do with something so powerful? Unfortunately, I did not manage to learn all the details of the gospel plan. I do know that they've already begun the next phase of it, though. They said the third stage of the plan was getting ready to start, but that's about it. The situation is grim. General Morgan, has the army begun to plan a response? These two, as might be expected, contacted Cassius last night before coming to us. I had to do the towers multiple times because one of the books requires Chloe to be in your party and <laughs> talk to a cat, specifically in between tower, <laughs> tower 2 and 3. Good thing I'm not getting the books! At his suggestion, I've put the entire army on a state of high alert. We have the entire aerial, f uh, aerial fleet in the air patrolling the width and breadth of the kingdom now, your majesty. I see. Very good. Estelle, Joshua, thank you very much for your hard work. N no, it's nothing. We just did the right thing, you know? To be honest, I should have approached you much earlier. I apologize for my earlier behavior, especially the theft of the airship. Wait, Joshua? It's all right, Estelle. I'm prepared for whatever punishment they deem fit. Hmm. Your Majesty, what shall we do with him? Yes, I believe we will have to bend the letter of the law to match its spirit in this case. In light of all the information on the society you have brought us, Joshua Astray, I sentence you to one spanking. Get over here, across the knee. Pack, you're done. Okay, get on your way. That's what mothers do. <laughs> I am willing to pardon you for your past deeds. Really? But, your majesty... <laughs> Spank me, Pichu. It is all right, Joshua. To be honest, an orphan of Hamel deserves a far greater recompense than Queen's simple discretion. Oh. As I imagined, you do know. That I knew of the massacre and have remained quiet about it until now. What? What do you mean? <laughs> The Hundred Days' War began with a furious declaration of war from Erebonia to Liberal. It was given on the basis that the butchery at Hamel was conducted by Liberal's armed forces. However, as a condition of the treaty that ended the war, the Empire retracted the accusation, on the grounds that neither side would ever, under any circumstances, speak of Hamel again. Just like Louvet said. Once I considered the circumstances, I could, if vaguely, see what had happened in the Empire. However, even though Cassius' counterattack plan had gained us significant victories, Erebonia had not committed the bulk of its military to the invasion of Liberal, if they returned with the greater part of their army. After realizing that, I agreed to their conditions. Oh. I chose to prioritize my nation's safety over the pursuit of the truth. I destroyed any hope the victims, who were lost in the shadows, had any for justice. Those words that Lieutenant Lawrence, that Leonhardt said to me, you are hardly qualified to feel pity for me. He was absolutely correct. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, please, do not blame yourself. You had no connection to the massacre, and the safety of your entire nation was at risk. As a ruler, you made the right decision. Joshua. This land of Liberal is my home. 
It is the place that mended my broken heart. I don't hate you for choosing to protect it, Your Majesty. I thank you for it. Joshua? Yeah! Thank you, Joshua. To hear you say that feels as though a burden was lifted from my shoulders. <laughs> now, but you go say that to one Ash Carbide. <laughs> uh. Stell? Joshua? I don't know. I think that's Tita. Huh? Everyone. No, oh, it's Chloe and Tita. Cool. Estelle, I'm so glad you're safe. And Joshua, you're both back! You're both back! Chloe, Tita, hi guys, sorry to make you worry. Really, you two, the way you behave can drive a woman to drink, you know. <laughs> Still, though, good to see you brought back our little runaway after all. Shara, Agate. Glad to see you two are back. I am certain this, too, must be the divine guidance of Adios. <laughs> Sorry for all the fuss. You dang well better be, you dang better well be, be dang well better be, ayo. <laughs> oh, Kevin, I gotta tell you, still, when you got snatched up, I just about flipped out in every direction I could. Seriously, though, don't make me worry like that next time, okay? Yeah, sorry about that. So then, this must be... Yes, I'm Joshua Astray. It's a pleasure to meet you, Father Graham. Ugh, even more handsome than I'd expected. And wait, you know me? I heard about you once or twice while keeping an ear open for what Estelle was doing. Heard how you helped Estelle when she was in need several times. Thank you. I'm grateful for your help. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a big deal. So if you do have made up, I won't say anything. Except... Just don't leave your girlfriend in the lurch again like that, eh? Otherwise, someone wants to take that as a cute single again. I will, uh, keep that in mind. Huh? What are you two whispering about? <laughs> nothing, just a guy thing. <laughs> yes, it's nothing. If it's something dirty, I can show you the girl thing we do with a stick in response. That sounds relatively potentially dirty. <laughs> the girl thing we do with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> how, how 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 neatly rounded and lacquered is that stick, Estelle? <laughs> Don't want to cause any abrasions now, do I? Pardon me, your majesty! Oh, no, it's Cassius. Pardon me, your majesty! Tad. Cassius. General Bright, thank you for coming. Have you gotten the orders out to all forces? Yes, I flew out here as soon as I was finished. I thought it was about time to come and do my duty as a father. What? My baby boy. <laughs> we spoke on the phone yesterday, but this is the first time we've met face to face in a while. Yes, it is. I'm sorry I made you worry. I knew the oath you made. I'm nearly as much to blame as you are. You need to apologize, but I must do my duty. Ah! Oh, you didn't deserve a slap, Cassius. You should have been a better father. Huh? <laughs> oh. Whoa, wait, Dad! It's alright, Estelle. It didn't hurt very much. The Divine Blade has a lot more strength than this. He could have knocked me across the room if he wanted. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do to a runaway son, right? Exactly. It looks like you understand now. Just how badly everyone was worried about you, hmm? Whoa, Dad, a slap! What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yes. It's just the sort of thing someone like me wouldn't realize, isn't it? Yes. It is a hard thing to truly grasp. No man stands alone, even if he tries his hardest to. He is affected by those around him. And conversely, he affects those around him, simply through the act of living. Even without meaning to, we form relationships. And in time, those relationships become bonds. Bonds. Kizuna, if you will. My Nihongo is very Sugoi. <laughs> and a bond, once formed, never breaks. No matter how far we travel, no matter what path we follow, they remain in some form. Do you understand just how strong such bonds can be now? Yes. Honestly, I underestimated them. Didn't understand how powerful they could be at all. Joshua? If you've learned that, then I think your little walking tour was worth it. Hugs. Joshua, you damn fool of a son of mine. Welcome home. Cassius. Dad. <laughs> I might say half the foolishness comes from the parent of myself. It's a lovely moment, Morgan. 
come now. Pardon me. Captain Schwartz, what is it? Your Majesty, sirs, there are massive groups of identified creatures near all five major cities. From the reports, we suspect they may be archaisms, but we're not sure. What? They've started moving. Also, we have received reports of herds of armored beasts and soldiers wearing red from every region. Local guard forces are engaged in fighting the back. As I feared. I should return to Hawken Gate immediately. Also, Schwartz, there can't possibly be more. There is. We lack details, but there is some kind of abnormality. This is the only way to put it. At the towers. The top of each tower has been engulfed in darkness. It's bizarre. What in the... I hear it bad when my bad feelings turn out to be right. Furthermore, a guard ship on patrol attempted to approach one. But it began suffering catastrophic system failure as I approached and only barely managed to pull back. Horrible suspension. What about ground-based scouts? I've already dispatched them. No word back yet. Excuse me, Captain Schwartz, I have a report! Look, Joshua, we need your bond to the group. Otherwise, how is the cell going to summon Thanatos? Yeah, basically. The gang trip deployed and the towers have all been destroyed. It sounds impossible, but every squad was scared by just one person. The reports are consistent. What? That could only be... Yes, and only an enforcer could do that. Dad, the normal army troops have no hope of defeating them. Let me go. Hmm. Excuse me, Joshua, but why are you trying to go out on your own? Did you already forget the promise we made? But, Estelle, the society's on the move. As a brace of liberal, I can't just sit back and ignore them. I'm going after them, too. Either way. Estelle. It isn't just Estelle, either. I'm coming back as well. Or I'm coming as well. Yeah, not back. Baby got back. <laughs> I have my own personal reasons for wanting to confront one of them, after all. As do I. Shara. Zen. Point is, you ain't the only one tied up in this. No run off without us, got it? That's right, Joshua. This is just the kind of time we all need to work together. I get Tita. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Looks like you've decided. Then allow me to make a formal request of the Bracer Guild on behalf of the Royal Army. I want you to investigate and resolve the situations at each of the Tetrasilic Towers. Bring the phenomena to a halt, and, if possible, Apprehend those responsible. Yeah, got it. The guild accepts your mission, General Bright. Grandmother, will you lend us the Arsail? Huh? I your Highness? Certainly. This is a situation which demands haste. I was considering offering the Arsail regardless, but if you are asking yourself, does that mean you are ready? No, not yet. When I return the ship, however, then I'll have an answer for you. <laughs> Very well. Liberal's wings of hope are yours to use as you see fit. Thank you very much. Nepotism, woo! <laughs> Julia, prepare the Arsail for launch, please. We must head to the towers immediately. By your command, lady. And so Liberal fell into chaos, not seen since the Hundred Days War. What will happen next? Next time on Dragon Ball Z! Cassius and Morgan return to Liston Fortress and the Hacking Gate, respectively, to the command uh, to take command of the Royal Army. Meanwhile, Estelle and her friends headed for the towers, which dotted the landscape uh, using the RSA. Aw, oh, yeah, baby. Give me that. Boom. Got that BP for beating the shit out of Gilbert. Which was annoying as hell. Oh, no. I don't have my arts daddy coming with me. I didn't expect you to have to go back to Araponia, Olivier. It is a bit out of the blue. No, to be honest, I was due back some time ago. However, you were still so monopolized my time, I delayed my return for a while. I see. Sorry, I guess I'm at it's my fault. <laughs> Not at all. Don't you worry her precious head over it. In return for my accompanying you hither and yon, I was able to reunite with my dear sweet Joshua after all. <laughs> You're the same as always, Olivier. Say, Olivier. What is it? You. No, never mind. Thank you for taking the time to help Estelle in her journeys. wonder if we will find out what Olivia does back home. <laughs> it's almost like I saw the cutscenes, and I know exactly what's going to happen, kind of. <laughs> I merely followed my whims. You need not be so guarded. 
Though, if you insist on a passionate farewell kiss, well... Yeah, no, that's enough. Thanks. He's only smacking a snog on my lips, Buster! <laughs> Can't you say goodbye seriously at least once? <laughs> I thought you would have learned now by... I thought you would have learned... I thought you would have learned by now that I am always serious! Estelle, Joshua, Shara, everyone. You have great trials ahead of you, so be careful. Know that Olivier Lenheim shall pray for your success from the skies of Erebonia. Thanks, Olivier. <laughs> you take care, too. Stay safe, Olivier. Olivier, let me take another take on that. Ha ha blah 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 blibbly blue reverse that once again one more time let me just reset the stage <laughs> If we get the chance we should go drinking again Next time we meet try dishing the love struck idiot act alright <laughs> Um Goodbye Olivier Didn't know you long but it was good times See ya Farewell Olivier Thank you for your help See him leaving is actually kind of nice because now I'm like, okay, now my setup is going to be Estelle, Joshua, um, Agate, and Chloe. Like, I don't have to worry anymore. Um, <laughs> now, now I don't have to think about, like, oh god, who do I, like, who, because I want, because, like, the thing is, right, like, I built Olivier to be like, oh yeah, defense daddy. He can, he has the defense AOE art, like, it's really nice, it's awesome. Now I don't have to think about it. Hey, Grandpa? Hello again, friends! Tita, have you been a good girl? <laughs> yep. Back up a sec, Gramps. Why are you here? Well, as you may have noticed, a fair bit's going on. They brought me on board a few days ago. <laughs> Far more importantly, Estelle! Joshua! It does an old man's heart good to see you two back safe. <laughs> yeah, we managed it somehow. I'm sincerely sorry to avoid you, Professor. No, no, my boy. If you're back safe, that's all that matters. And you know what? I was too busy to even give a shit about your safety. Whatever. So the business at hand is the Tetrazilic Towers and that strangeness atop them. Looks like I'll have to throw this old back back into another mystery. Thanks, Professor. I was wondering too. Do you have any suggestions for which tower we should start with? That's a good question. The closest are the Ambrose and Cornelia Towers, but really they're all the same now. With the RCS speed, the distance doesn't really matter. My advice would be to prioritize targets where we'd have solid information on our enemies. Information? Like what? We received an update from the scout unit to patch the Esmalis Tower. Alright gang, let's split up! A masked man in formal white clothing appeared there. That must be that phantom thief guy! Well, we heard back in the castle. To be defeated by one man. <laughs> Guess he isn't just some opera clown after all. Blue Blanc, the phantom thief. His specialty as an enforcer isn't trickery. False image copies, shadow pinning, that sort of thing. Fighting him is going to be like fighting a riddle. That sounds ducky. Still, just knowing who the enemy is will make it easier than any other tower. Okay, let's head to Esmail's tower first. As you wish. Engines full ahead! Set course for Esmail's tower in the Roland region. Time to go beat up the goddamn Jester boy! Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's go beat the shit out of him! Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's do it! Ah. Uh, see, now that I have Joshua back, my my voice is always in full. Uh, this is my Joshua voice, and now it's like getting to my throat. Because usually I only had to do like the agate voice. Where I put a little bit more stomach into it, but still did the gravel. But now it's Joshua, and I'm still like a teenager, so it's... High like this. <laughs> and so ends the moratorium I placed upon myself. No, I may yet have one chance left, perhaps. W wait! Ah, uh, oh, you two! Ah, uh, they're gone! Ah, <laughs> uh, they're making it in time, huh? Oh. What ho, good reporters! Were you hoping to get on board as you did during the Dragon's case? Yeah, we heard Joshua was back. Ah, oh, whatever. Dorothy, hurry up and grab a shot of the Arsail. We use the long distance lens, we should be able to get a usable shot. Aye aye, sir. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. 
You've said your goodbyes. Such as they were to make, yes. Have your preparations come along. I managed to arrange everything with my uncle. As for Chancellor Osborne, he actually found the idea to be perfectly timed. He does seem like the kind of man who would be well liked by the Liberlians. <laughs> this would be a grand processional. <sighs> you have the nastiest hobbies. I can already see their shocked expressions in my mind. <laughs> ah, but that is a large part of the goal, my friend. And so, when we next meet, we shall be foes. Do not lose to the likes of society, my erstwhile Liberlian allies. What? I don't want to fight you, Olivier! Whatever does he mean? Oh my god, we're going to Roland and the Esmelis Tower. Well... I'm surprised they can't just give us freaking like parachutes and just drop us from the top and land us in the tower. We've arrived at Ismail's tower. Oh, that was seriously fast. That wasn't even 30 minutes, was it? <laughs> That's about right, yeah. The fact that they have a airship that can essentially cross their country in like 30 minutes, or an hour probably max, is insane. Like, that's bonkers. You think Zemiri has that kind of technology? Parachutes or the, the across the country in an hour? Because they've already mentioned, well, they mentioned on the Glorious that, um, uh, they mentioned, I believe Estelle mentioned that they, she needed to find an escape or some parachutes to get out. So they didn't, they didn't mention parachute. Because I remember talking about, I was like, do they not have parachutes? <laughs> because I don't think they've ever mentioned them in like Cold Steel and stuff. Because they don't. <laughs> But they did mention them that one time in On the Glorious. So, Estelle knows about parachutes, meaning that it is knowledge not on it's not technology only on the Glorious. I wonder if I looked around if you could find a parachute, like on the airship. <laughs> That's about right, yeah. We are about three times as fast as a big passenger airship. The engine, right. What's happening on top of the tower? Let me put it on the display. Still love how it folds out. It's an orb. What in the heck? Looks a bit like that black wave the gospel admit, but uh, static. Yes, but unlike the waves, it's confined to the top of the tower. I wouldn't recommend we get close. Orb! <laughs> HDQ orb! Dude, if you like orbs, you gotta love DMC and Devil May Cry and stuff, because they have, like, literally, it's like, blorbs, rorbs, gorbs, porbs, because it's just different colored orbs that they just take the color and merge it into orb. <laughs> Julia, how do we get to the surface? Unfortunately, the train is too rough to land the sail. We should be able to get close enough to the lower the lift while hovering. Use that. I only played DMC4, and I kind of sucked at it back then. Ah, okay. Yeah, character action games are difficult to do. Um, because you need to, like, have... It, it's like doing fighting game inputs, but not doing a fighting game. Yeah, I've only ever watched the two best friends play uh, through uh, DMC um, on that channel. And then watched um, the Wooly vs. Uh, with, uh, with DMC5. It's really good. DMC5 is a great game. Looks great. Has, like, all the coolest parts of all of Devil May Cry. Like, good story, too. Like, it's awesome. And awesome music. I'm not sure if you've ever listened to the, um, the OSTs from the game, from DMC5. But it's really good. Especially Bury the Light. That came out with the Virgil DLC. Um, we should be able to get close enough to use the tank. Use that. The lift... The cargo bay li elevator lift. It's normally used to load items onto the ship. Ah, uh, okay. Now we just need to decide who should investigate the tower and who should stay in reserve. Please warn me, party. You may choose two other members from aside from the mandatory. Yep. Okay, I'm going with Let's you. And I could use you, but I'm using right. you. Um. Yeah, here's to hoping they don't force me to use Zen and Shara, but they probably will, because we're gonna be fighting Walter and Luciola. So, great. Gonna have to hope that they get strong enough. Whatever, don't worry about it. 
Right then, I'll be busy in the lab downstairs. If you kids need your orbits tuned or you need new quartz, come by! You bet. Right, remember you lot, we still don't know what the enemy's goal is. Have you ca have a care as you rush into danger like palms, you hear? Okay, once we're ready, let's get to the surface. Yeah, lift this in the cargo bay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Can I look around and find a parachute? Because that's, that's one thing that I'm actually curious about now. Hey, Cheryl. No. Nope. Uh, let's talk. Hey, Style. Hey, Cheryl. This is where you are. Thinking about things. I suppose seeing is most arrogant. Got me around simpler times. That's all. I think about we have done a lot there. That's true. It's kind of where it all began. Now we've got our first real job. Really? It was. That was back when you two were freshly into junior bracers. Yeah, some local kids wandered into the tower. It's our job to go and rescue them. Of course, Dad ended up stealing the spotlight at the very end, as usual. <laughs> that figures. The old man really needs to grow up. You both came a long way since then. This time, it'll be up to you to put an end to things. Don't worry, Sheriff. We'll make it happen. Uh, parachutes? Parachutes. Parachutes? Not seeing any parachutes. Ooh, hello there. Buy items. Buy... Oh, buy. There we go. Okay. Um... A reviving bomb is that. Um, I could buy... I mean, I have enough EP charges, I'd say. Um, buy ingredients, buy... Is there any... Uh, actually, I don't want to... I mean, I have quite a bit of Mira, frankly, but I feel like I don't need to actually do uh, any more talk. Hello, everyone. Alone today. Never seen Drake alone much. Well, my usual drinking partner has gone back to his empire, you know? Might be a bit late, but I was giving him a farewell test. Oh, right. You drank with Olivier a lot, didn't you, Zen? To make for an odd pair, thinking about it. That's true. It's true we didn't have much in common except the love of good alcohol. Black could just give you the trophy and cutscene, right? That isn't AP. It's not AP. Because you can max AP in your first, uh, in your first run, and you only get the black records on New Game Plus. Maybe that's why we got along so well. People can enjoy seeking out things, di uh, seeking out things different from themselves. After all, yeah, maybe. Well, you can invite me from now on if you want. Ain't really as funny as he is, though. I'll admit. Thanks, that's kind of you. you can't let an offer like that go to waste, can I? I'll invite you sometime. <laughs> I'll drink with you, I guess. You're not as cool as Olivier, but who is, right? Um, is this the bay? Shot by... Oh, okay, so I could... Wow, I literally picked up a weapon in the airship and you're already selling me a better one? God damn it. And, like, I don't want to buy the weapons because I'll probably find good things. Well, actually, no. Wait, um, unless the chests respawn in there, I won't find better ones. Um... So, I'm gonna need to... The nice part about Joshua is I know... Well, actually, do... Question. Did they de-equip everything from Olivier to see still have everything? Um, ceramic spikes. Okay, I'll put that on right now. You... You got that. You got that. Can't remember. Hmm. Okay, so let's shop by... So let's buy a st like I'm gonna buy all the weapons, or at least the weapons for the characters that I'm going to be using. Um, just because you know, even if I do find a better one, there'll probably still be a fight or two or three or four where um, I don't have the better weapon. Um, nice part is I can just buy ceram armor for. F I know that it's better. Um, uh, 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 uh. Like, some of them... Like, Chloe, it's literally 60 defense. Yeah, bye. Oh, and I should probably... Uh, uh, do I need... Actually, I don't need it first off. I'll buy Strega G for Chloe. Because... Um... Because she doesn't need move and agility. She stays in the back most of the time anyway. Uh, Andite, Battle Saber, Weaver, Grambringer, Folder, Crambit, Protect Gear, Ceram Armor. You're good. And then, no, you're good. You're good. There we go. 
What are the master beads? There we go. Okay. That's what they're. Um, oh yeah, let's go to her tactics. Yeah, we need to change her battle position. Um, Chloe, you now go to the back. Um, you two can be front boys together. That's fine. So now I now I kind of have like a two a two two setting where I have two physicals uh, and two casters, but this physical him Joshua is much more of a really good doubler, <laughs> whereas Estelle is kind of a medium doubler. Chest in the tower. Mm. Great, great chest ahead. <laughs> Um, okay, I think that's that. He's 75. Yeah, God, he outpaces literally everyone. So, chances are the enemies in the tower are going to be decently strong. Um, yeah, let's get going. Joshua is fast. What is, what is his speed? 44, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, dude. Hey, yo, dude, dude, what the fuck, man? Going so fast? Parachute in here? No, it's just Kevin. Hey, how's it going, Kevin? Hey, it's done! That one. Yeah, once we're ready, how about you, Kevin? Just giving the sick bio once over familiar side of my wife. Even if you get ambushed, then he goes first. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> because he never gets ambushed. He knows. He just let them attack from behind. It's not an ambush when you allow it to happen. Now, just in case I need to make use of it, not to my medicine, pretty and common for a girl's writer, impressive too. Yeah, well, it's something I picked up because I kind of had to. Besides, I'd be even happier if I had no reason to use it this place. As would I. Let's be careful exploring then so we don't need it. Yes, we must proceed cautiously. We have no idea what dangers may be lurking within the tower themselves. Got that right, caution. More than anything, we'll make sure this place stays useless. Anyway, don't get too reckless and make sure I've got no use for the sick bay, okay? Um, oh yeah, well, um, I still need to come back in here because... Orbit. So you have cast two, you have evade two, um, you have EP cut two, mine two. You got a lot of twos. You got a lot of fours. Um, you got a lot of threes and some fours, and you got some fours. Yeah, okay. So let's ch let's check these. Um, uh, well, actually, let's check that, check that, check that, check that. Okay, good. Quartz. Okay, so I can buy a defense four. Uh, do a hit four. Um, let's buy one just to have it. Um, EP cut, yeah, we want these. Um, oh god, they are very expensive though. Um, oh, I already have four of them in my inventory, I guess? Okay, before I do anything else, let's go through and actually. Um, EP cut four. Um, EP cut four. Oh, because I didn't actually. I thought I had EP cut on. Her. Oh wait, what the heck? I'm, oh yeah, I forget. I'm an idiot. Um, okay, so I bought an extra one. Whatever, that's fine. It, just in case. Um, okay, so I got those. Attack three. Da, 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 da. So I'm surprised there aren't cast threes. But I wonder. The, see, the thing is, they just say greatly cut, and they don't give a percentage. At least in Cold Steel, they gave percentages. Um, is there mind three? No, just mind two. Um, okay. Let's see, let's, nope. Uh, shop, convert, nope, buy. God damn it. Upgrade exchange, quartz. Let's trade. Oh, god damn it. Um, okay, hit, EP cut, move three. Cast two, action four. Got a couple of those, impede four. Let's, um,. Oh, yeah, look at that. He even gives a little bit of bonus stuff. Yeah, let's buy one of them. Actually, let's buy... Yeah, I'm only going to buy one because it costs 800. <laughs> um, they... I have two evade fours already. Um, could buy a shield for... I have plenty of those. Freeze? Don't have any freeze, but... Ooh, mine for... Buy a couple of them. HP for... Okay. So now let's come back in here. Orbment. Mind. Four. Good. Gives me better. Those. Evade. Do I have evade? Yeah. I could buy evade three, but I don't really need it. Um, okay. And then you have EP three. 
So let's give you EP4, I guess. Why not? Uh, mind three. Could do mind. Okay, do I have mind on you? Yeah, you only have mind two. Let's put mind four on you. Impede. Let's put impede four on you. Because that gives La Tierra all. What is La Tierra all? Uh, it doesn't actually matter. Okay, so uh, he, she has like all fours basically, so that's awesome. Uh, hit two. I bought hit four. So his agility is going down, but his dex is going up and he's getting chaos brand as well. Um, action three. Do I have an action four? No, but I could buy one, but I don't want to buy one. Absorb. Um, I don't really need absorb. I really don't. <laughs> Um, frankly, I should probably swap it with something else. Um, septim vein wouldn't be bad. That's right. Like right now, like right now he has a good amount of fire stuff. But, uh, but, ooh, but that's all. Yeah, it's just one of those things where like. Uh, you know, I'll put HP 3 on him. I think that's probably the smartest move. Because the more health he has, the higher health he'll have when we, uh, or when I use his craft to get CP. Okay. Hey, there you are! Hey, it's Faye! What are you doing aboard the Arsail? Oh man, Russell brought me along. He was worried about not having an engineering team along, so... Oh, okay. Right now he doesn't need me for much, so I'm helping out where I can. So, you guys want to use the lift then? Send on the lift. Right then. Okay, just jump on the plate there. Okay. Yeah. And down you go. Should be pretty stable, but uh, try to avoid the edges. <laughs> right, time to take care of things. We should get to the top of the tower, pronto. Yes, something seems wrong, however. Does it? It's you guys! Yeah, you're the braces we were told about! Yeah, that's right. You're part of the scouting force? Yeah, I stay behind to report the status of the tower to you guys. You got nailed by some clown in a mask, right? Yeah, but that's not all. How the hell do I. It's the tower, it's off. It's off? How? I can't. You'll get it when you see. Come here, check out the entrance. Yeah. What the? Oh, energy. That's what? Some sort of field, a barrier, or it was like this when we arrived. When we tried to investigate, the guy in the mask showed up. Is the barrier blocking entry? The guy in the mask went in, so it's probably okay. I thought about giving chase, but my entire team's out of action. Man. Okay, leave this to us and get back to your squad. Understood. Yeah, it's got your steps. Yeah, I don't want to be here no more. Okay, then, so let's save. No, oh, whoa, we're phasing in. Oh, this is definitely not the tower that we know. Okay. Figured. What in the... This is... As Melis, altered space. God. Hello there. Wait a second. We went to the tower, didn't we? Could this be spatial translocation? I believe we were sent elsewhere after passing through that field. Oh, come on. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, doesn't that mean there's no way to climb the tower? Calm down, Estelle. If Blue Blanc came in here, there must be some way. These towers have dozens of chests. Each. Jesus. Okay, fun. You're right. Okay, let's go. Carefully. Like that chest right there. Okay, time to fight something. Brand of attack. How are we looking? Um. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. Tailgate. Uh, let's do you. Um, we'll just start off what we have with that. You can... 
I use TR all on him. Get him back up to healthy fighting shape. There we go. And then we can just melee some bastards. You know, nope, you don't. You can't move far enough. Unfortunately. Oh well. Uh, yeah, look at the, look at these XP differences. Okay, so I'm gonna need to take some fights. Uh, okay, EP charge two. I suppose I didn't need that, but I mean, you could have asked first. Okay. Uh, and I want to be careful not to. One am I... I'll just do that one because he's gonna attack this guy and I kill him. Uh, actually, no, you want to use Ariel. Oh, they're immune to. Uh, okay. I should have checked that. I didn't even. I forgot that some of the robots had elemental um, <laughs> immunity. <laughs> should have done that. Should have done that. <laughs> Okay, so that was just like a freebie chest. You're just gonna accept that? You're not gonna have a cutscene questioning teleportation? Preemptive attack. And keep, keep messing up with that. Um, okay. Hellgate, do that. Do that. That. Go. Hellgate, good, good art. Um, okay, so this doesn't. This is just, I presume, a tougher fight. Potential uh, introduction to a tank. Um, too bad. Okay, you ain't shit. Go. Okay. I get leveled up 68, 69, 75, 68, 67. Yeah, gonna need to keep taking these fights. Ah, tricky, tricky. Okay, the way the chest lid causes it to shear off its old hinges, awkwardly you put the lid back on and try to pretend nothing happened. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Did not mean to rip its hinges off. There, whack you. Um, let's just do a soul blur on that one. You can whack that. You can come here. Playing. There we go. Okay. Come back. Don't want to mess with us. That thing looks so much more intimidating than it actually is. Okay, Chloe leveled. That's good. What's that? I oh, no, was her to get all our EP back. Glam Choker. What is that? Dude. So glamulous. Uh, prevents mute. Well, you lose this chest, you might have forgotten, but don't think you can just come waltzing back and apologize. So it seems like it's nice because the chests aren't, like, hidden. They're just kind of middle path. <laughs> it's like, hey, did you walk down this way? It's just right in the middle. Let's move out. Woo. Shoop de whoop. Shoop de whoop and pull. And your boops are looking cool. And you go over and back. Left to right. Cal yeah. <laughs> As they close the empty chest, uh, you weigh the pluses and minuses of staying in there to jump out and scare the next person who checks it. Well, it's gonna be a while. I'm gonna tell you that. Yeah. So 668. To 703. That's pretty. That's pretty big increase. So do that. I'll be looking forward to when I get it on the other characters. 
go. Back. Now, unfortunately, it's for the, the the first one I guess for the character that I have yet to do. I think a physical attack on an enemy <laughs> with. So, oh well. Okay, get this reviving bomb. Inside the chest, you find a tiny frog. You tap him on the head, and he happily jumps away. Cute. Attack. Slash that. Um, yeah. See, I probably, like, honestly, I probably should have the... I would like to say I should have the um, EP regeneration quartz on Chloe, because I have her using arts a lot more than I have Estelle doing it, but based on the uh, setups I have in terms of units, um, it's really give or take whatever. Okay, I want to see White Gehenna. Um, so we're just gonna poke some people. Um, you know what, you can just, like, move. It's fine. Oh my god. Bloom. Damn. Good. Get that CP. That's that. Let's move out. See, unlike, unlike, uh, Unlike Agate, Joshua has to hit things to get CP instead of just going, I want CP! While cutting himself, basically. Uh, okay, so that's a way down to the teleporter. And this is a way to chest. Oh, goddamn, was not expecting that. Um, okay. Craft. Evil Eye. Photon Judge 13 by Okay. Um. And then I'm going to craft. Around. There we go. That. Not atomic missile. Okay. Um, you don't like Earth, but you guarantee you do not have Earth. Um, uh, area debilitate. Okay, uh, see, that's good because she has it. Um, Shadow Spear. Let's plop that on you. Donkey Missile. I hate that. I remember how much I hate Donkey Missile. Uh, let's do that. Oh, damn it. Claro. That's fine. Has such a wide AOA. tougher than I was expecting, but fine. Taiji Garb. You open the chest and see something you didn't notice the first time around. Without warning, the chest slams itself shut. You cannot open it again. Okay. Turn it up. So it's guy only. Ooh, that's... That's really good. See, I want to give it to Agate because it gives him speed. <laughs> So I'm gonna do that. Because as we have discussed, Joshua is already almost too fast. Which of your primaries blocks the entrance the best? A get a, a gate a get Okay. 
That's that. Let's move out. Okay. I guess almost. Okay. So chances are it's like the final dungeon where there are some elevators and teleporters that are like true one. Oh my god, are you serious? There's. Oh god, okay. So I think that means that's where I came out, so. Let's do that. That. Yeah. That's that. Let's move out. Okay. Basically, so this one is the closest one to like the elevator. So I presume, or the down elevator. So I presume that this is the not true one. Like this is not the one that is going to take me to the end. I presume. See, that's dirty, because I can't turn the camera. You just have to assume that there's one in every corner. Breaking news, there's nothing in the chest more at 11. My cousin told me about you. You're a monster. A monster. It's just as empty as you suspected it would be. Found EP charge. Last time I saw something this empty, I was looking at my calendar. Ah, sigh. Same, bro. Regina Garter. The empty chest opens with a groan. I guess it's tired of being opened and over, over and over again. Mm -hmm. Here's women only. So it decreases agility, but increases ATS and defense by quite a bit. But it doesn't decrease my move, so I'm going to put that on her. Good. Why they need to add that section of teleport, I don't know. <laughs> Feels odd. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, we're just gonna teleport you to a very small strip where you're just gonna move forward and teleport again. It's like, what, what purpose does that serve? <laughs> just take me to the, the end. The end desire one. Tiara bomb. In the dust, you can finally make out the imprint of whatever was in here previously. A tiara bomb. Tier all bomb. I wish I could tell you this was full of items again, but no, it's empty. Moon Sabbath. Ooh, good. Thank you. Yeah, look at my content sign. Bear! Celestial bomb. There's nothing in here, but wouldn't it be cool if there were? Blue falcons. Dude, Captain Falcons? Nothing in here but the hamper of whoever took what was inside. Hey, hand looks familiar. Uh, guy, shoes. <laughs> Bump his speed up. And his agility. Holy shit, that agility goes up. Um, you know, I'll take that because it also increases move. Jesus. Uh, oh, Jesus. Okay, there we go. Uh, you know what, let's take a hot sec while I'm running through this area to do this. There we go. Do that. That way, as I'm running around the area, Estelle can just be getting her EP back. Because <laughs> that is the beauty of having that passive one on. Bang. Bang. Not done yet. We're not done yet. Uh, okay, and this way we go once again. So basically what I want to do is hit the elevators that are like you wanna take the shortest paths, essentially. And if there's an elevator at the end of that short path, take it. <laughs> because that is most likely not the one you're going to need to uh, take to advance. Emerald Talisman. I once heard on the playground that if you check a certain chest enough, it'll give you all the items in as much mirror as you can hold. See, I would love it if that was actually a thing, right? Like, they somehow coded one chest to be like, if you repeatedly open it, 
eventually you'll just somehow overflow, you'll get every item in the game, you'll get unlimited Mira. I would love that if that was a, if that was actually a thing. But have it be like the last chest and have and make it so you have to open it like a hundred times. <laughs> hey. This is some sort of computery thingy, right? Let's have a look. Good thing I can use it. Mm. This should work. Technology! Ah. Does seem to be some sort of computer terminal for viewing information. Let's have a look at the contents. Concerning the seal mechanism, one of four. My name is Celeste D. Osleys. I am the daughter of a blank seal... Or of a seal, uh, and eh, man ultimately responsible of the sealing of the Oriole. I have decided to something blah, a blank of eh, for eh, eh, to come and can the uh, sir, all is the eh, and the. Oriole, and uh, we in order uh, should uh, to uh, if you were uh, were to put the uh, uh, I the uh, uh, invention will uh, you. However, if you uh, to restore the Oriole, I beg you. Uh, reconsider. The Oriole power is too great for we children of man to wield when we uh, uh, we something it it uh, 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 and uh, Gehenna. Received data crystal. What the heck is, what the heck good is this? It's basically unreadable except for the beginning. Though, that Osley's bit. Yes, this is the name of the royal family of liberal. This may have been written by someone connected to us. That's true. It is possible there's a connection there. Yeah, maybe. Well, it could be useful, so we should take it. I'm trying to... Trying to read a whole bunch of broken script. Um, okay, is this just a circle that gives a whole bunch of data crystals? Uh, yes it is. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to assume that they would want me to go in a clockwise direction. <clears throat> so, yeah, 2 out of 4. The purpose of the th seals is to any con prevent any contact between uh, the Oriole and humanity, thus ensuring humanity's survival. I feel the need to clarify the Oriole itself does not uh, say, uh, does not something to curter or harm humanity. The uh, that uh, was us our fault alone. Uh, do not uh, the merge of our great goddess in giving this gift to us. It is we who were unequal to such a gift. Something. <sighs> um, I, I, I think I'm, I think I'm reading it pretty well, all things considered. See, that's dumb. The threes on the other side. To provide an example, the Oriole facilitated the creation of vir virtual realities intended to produce euphoria in per it even chemistry to achieve this it was no different than thinking a painful or something stimulant and occurring at the time worse still the there turn no side effects no physical ones at least such boons have brought humanity's very um continuous existence into question the effects already begin to tell uh upon her tell upon our citizenry and we have pre precisely little time 
We have precious little time left to us. As a result, we fa feel felt or over um, our. Oh, as a result, we felt or we fear over time our dimension to understand the ceiling. To, to, uh, we had shelled or should. God damn it. God, it is, it is tough trying to read words that are there but not fully there. See, I feel bad for whoever had to do the, localize this because, like, they have, like, unless they were given the full transcript of it and then were told to block out the same equivalent letters, I don't know how this would have worked. In truth, the construction and implementation of the seal goes directly against the will of the people and our democratic ideals even among uh, our uh, gospel some believe we should try to uh, blank a way to use the Orioles power um, effectively however uh, once it's uh, something autonomy that have been to our security probably and our drastically it didn't just uh, modern it's it's elf with our physical will um, our physical well-being it considered our uh, mortal uh, God damn it. <laughs> I wonder if it, uh, they'll clear up. Hope they do. Your chest. Eight divination scarb. This chest is as empty as your soul. Yeah, I know. See, I'm really enjoying this because it's like, oh my god, look at all these, like, lore things that they're just dropping at us right now. Um, that's a really good thing. Uh, oh, is it women only? Eight divination scarb. See, I don't want to wear something that drops ATS. <laughs> um... Even though it's really good. Ah, damn it. Well, 530 to 474. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to keep it. So, the same mechanism to provide an example. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> Forgot that I got the chest before going up. Thought that I'd gone up and then got the chest. Um, okay. This music is eerie. Um, hello there. 2800. Oh god, okay. It self destructs bigly. It self-destructs Big League Chuli. <laughs> Big League Chu. Gonna have to be very careful of that going forward. Get good 69, 70, 75, 68. Okay, but Chloe should probably be leveling next fight. God, this is a lot of. <laughs> you can tell they want you to fight. Luckily, the usefulness of like the lower tier arts kind of stays uh, relatively the same. Like, they don't really go down all that much. Like, they're always kind of the same level of useful. Which is grateful. Yeah, just using everyone's hearts because that goes up. Okay, it only gives 51. Okay, that one's not worth fighting, honestly. I should just stick to these ones. There we go. Not that those give all that much XP either. But 
Oop, there's gonna be a fight. That's basically like your sign for like, hey, there's a fight coming up, so go either grind out some levels or move on ahead. Um, I could grind out a level for Estelle, but I would rather move forward. Because as I move forward, enemies will get tougher and therefore give more XP and level me up. Anyway, is this the top of the tower? I think so. The hell is this? So this is what they're hiding on the roofs with these dark barriers. Ho oh, ho! That was sprightly! So you are here, you masked weirdo. <laughs> Must we trade insults? I would expect better from the ones who managed to best every one of my challenges. Those challenges are half the reason I don't even want to bother talking to you anymore, you know? Putting that aside, this is something of an event, is it not? It has been an age since we last met, after all. Ja Joshua Astray, the Black Fang of Ouroboros. It has, hasn't it? I'll admit, I'm surprised you would support Weissman's plan. <laughs> well, putting everyone else aside, I'm here out of curiosity. This land of liberal possesses a mysterious sort of dignity, wouldn't you agree? In the people, the land, even the air. I simply wish to discern if this dignity is real. For, when faced with disaster, it should shine forth all the greater. I see. In some ways, you're more like Weissman than I thought, I guess. <laughs> what I seek is beauty in all its forms. The good professor's goals are somewhat different. I should think that you, above all others, would understand that. Ah, and my darling princess has come as well! May I assume that means you shall accept my adoration? Unfortunately, I fear I cannot live up to your expectations. If I were truly noble, I would not hesitate so. I shall have to give an answer when I return the Arceo. I... I dread that moment. Chloe. Ah! Ah, yes! That fear! Oh, shining proof of nobility! Oh, radiant wings which will not deign to touch the disgusting insects crawling in the mud! Oh no, just a unit. Uh, what? Bouncing clowns? Assault archaisms? Now, show me! Show me that radiance as it brings light to this shadowed land! Okay, so what are we doing here? We got 11,000, 17,700, 11,000. Argument that they can construct its enemy's actions. Art. Um, let's go with, um, let's work on you, try and get the ads out of the way. Shadow cast. Oh god, he, okay, no, that's fine. Um, that's fine. Here we gotta take the crit. Okay, so shadow cast if you hit the, the true one, I guess it uh, works. Pit trap. Arts. Uh, death scream. Art. Or wait, no. Craft. Morale. Strength up. Okay, do that. That. Good. Okay, that's just CP here. That's not anything big. Um, okay, let's do true dual strike. Get you out of here. How do you like this? Um, arts. Latiara. Let's do that. Get everyone maxed up healed. Arts. There's death screen, please. Craft. True flicker. Uh, you know what? Um, I'll try this one. Damn it. I 
meant to take that. Is that one? Shit. Okay, let's have him use Curia Bomb. Art. Tiaral. So basically, I want him to be max HP so I can do a um, strike. Death match. Don't insta kill. You bastard. Uh, did a lot of damage. Um, sucks because I didn't want to. Um, what do I have? Clock up. Let's just do that. Give everyone. Craft. True Comet. 286 damage. Craft. True Dual Strike. Only 540, so I'll just do a regular attack. There we go. Akashic Rain. Um, Agate can survive. Well, mm -hmm. It's not even worth it for me to do that, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna do beat down. And, that, and then next turn I will um, do other stuff. Um, art, shadow spear, thousand, deep spear. Are you serious? Gets a full health? Gets full health? That's ass. And I guess that's incentivizing me to uh, hit it really, really hard. As quickly as possible. Um, wild Rage. Take that. Whack you a bit. Yeah, okay. don't attack Agate. Yes, good. Good, good, good. Craft. Attack. Heart. Yarl. There we go. Heal him up. Hit him up. Wild card. It's fine. Heart. Um, yeah, I'll use Death Screen. That's fine. Uh, craft Camper. Do that. Get his defense down, and then use that. Should work. There we go. Done. Okay. Now, no new ones are coming, at least, so that's nice to know. Um, you know what? I'll just use this. Heal everyone. That way I don't have to think about it. And then we can work on this guy. Craft. Dual strike. Whack, whack him, whack him, whack him. Keep whacking him. Not done yet. Look, yeah, look at that. A thousand. I could really use a shiny pump. Just to kind of help everyone get kind of like more levels. Oh, more capable than I'd hoped for. Perhaps it is time we get properly serious. The. Mm hmm. 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 Oh, hey, look. Hey! Everything's returned to normal. Thank goodness. It seems my role has come to an end for now. Nothing for it then. I suppose I shall withdraw. What? Teleport! Hold on, you! Wait, please! 
<laughs> ah, I expected it of the princess, but you bracers also shine with a certain nobility. When next we meet, I shall take the full measure of your radiance. Well then, everyone, adieu. French. Kiseki no French. Oh, that felt good. Darn it. He got away after all. So this is the beta then. The final gospel made by the society. It's even larger than the other new models. I'm glad the tower's back to normal and all. What was he trying to do with this thing? Good question. The machinery up here stopped working again. T gotta say, gives me a bad feeling. That barrier that was covering the tower's crown until a moment ago. What was that, I wonder? Regardless, the tower's been returned to normal. We should return to the sale for now. Yeah, we should discuss this with Professor Russell. Okay. Nice. I see, I see. Sounds, a bit, it sounds as if quite a lot happened. Anyway, Professor, I thought you should have the beta. Oh, also, we found this in the tower. Hand over the crystal she found. Oh, this is a memory crystal! The ancient orbital cultures used these to store information. Information inside seemed damaged somehow. Is there a way to restore it? Damaged? Hmm. The crystal itself seems to be circuit imprinted septium, just like a normal quartz crystal. It may take a while, but I'm reasonably sure I can make the capital read it. Did you do that then? Of course! Leave it to me! So beyond that, uh, whatever it is in front of the tower doors is something you're calling the Shadow Tower. Hmm. I should have gone myself. Um, Grandpa! We've been calling it Shadow, but I think it might be the actual form of the towers. That is as the components of the second seal of, on the Oriole. I kind of want to be relieved that it's all back to normal, but, uh, yeah. What's got me really worried is that they got the machines at the top working, and now they're stopped again. Hmm, true. One way or another, we can't leave the society to do what it wants. We have to get to the next tower as soon as we can. Julia, do we have any information on the other towers? We did just get an update from the scout squad sent, to car sent toward Carnelia Tower. They reported a man wearing a black suit and sunglasses entering the tower. They're saying, it's the true self. <laughs> Persona! <laughs> yes. Almost like, almost like it was a palace. Him. A direwolf guy. Damn. Walter. Hmm. Finally. Chance to meet him head on. Zen. Estelle. Joshua. I'm sorry to impose, but I'm coming with you into Carnelia Tower. Fuck off, Zen. I don't want you. Not that I don't like you, but you're not in my my move sets right now. I don't want to have to set you up. Trap Plains Road. Here they come! Oh, it says low the name! Fire! Just walking through. Cease fire! Our squads forward! Do not let a single one of those things into the city! For the queen! For a liberal! Trying to limit the questions, but do you remember the minimum you need to finish the courageous introductions in CS2? Um... What do you, uh... What do you mean, limit... Or... The minimum you need to finish the courageous introduction. Do you mean like where you need to go to finish like that courageous part where until you can like fast travel in the courageous? Is that what you mean? A liberal! I see. I believe I understand the situation. When you get to the ship, we need to talk to to advance the plot. Ah, okay, okay. So you get to the ship, uh, they give you the initial rundown. And you need to go through all the floors. Fourth floor, you need to talk to Alpha. Uh, third floor, no one. Second floor, no one. First floor, you need to talk to Valimar. And you need to talk to George. At which point, they tell you you can advance the plot however you want. At that point, that's when I go uh, and fast travel to Legram to pick up the two students there. Then I go to the quest terminal and report those quests to get the cutscene, and also to turn off the, um, uh, to turn off the, uh, flight animations. 
Okay, but you need to do all the floors. Yes. Basically, that that point in the story is like, hey, this is the courageous. This is the first time we've been on here. Check out all the floors. Um, otherwise, you don't get the um, you don't get the uh, ability to fast travel on the courageous. I've never tried just talking to the people on the second floor and the first floor and then trying but i'm pretty sure that it doesn't allow you to move forward until you've explored i think whoever's at the helm i think it's toa by that point is like hey you should go ex you should like go familiarize yourself with everything but i'm not exactly sure the army's detachment has already begun its defensive plan here they are entirely prepared for this so i do not believe guild support would be necessary you're heading for Cornelia tower next very good I wish you the best. Good luck. As, as bad at hiding things as ever, I say. Six years and you still haven't changed at all. Well then, it appears I have some work to do in that case. Okay, from Ismelis down to Carnelia. Yeah. So now I'm gonna have to set up Zin. So, great. We've arrived in the area around Cornelia Tower. The tower's peak is still shrouded by that strange barrier. Just like the Esmilus Tower. It's quite likely the inside of the tower will be strange again. Hey, sorry to make you wait. Oh, Sin! What was Kilka contacting us about? She wanted to know how things were up here. I told her about everything that happened at Esmilus Tower. Oh, okay. I'm guessing you didn't mention our suspect for this tower. Well, anyway... Shall we hurry and get inside? He's room for party. Choose one other member. Great, one other member. Um, I definitely need the heals. Um, I would like to take Agate, but that's not happening. Okay, equipment, you, Silver Gaunts, um, Yaku Claws. I'll probably pick up a better thing in there. And I'm guessing that's why... Um, I'm guessing for some reason, I guess I didn't get it or whatever. But it seems like Chloe's weapon was in there because she was the one that had the most unique conversation with Blue Blanc, and you should have been you should have brought her by that point. Um, now whether or not I think that's good, because she wasn't mandatory as far as I know, unless it procked me to bring it, but I never needed it because of stuff. Or meant oh God, yeah, I didn't yeah, you're not even like done yet. Okay, so defense. And then you're another Earth, so let's do... Um, let's do Petrify. If I can get Petrify off, it's pretty awesome. Um, let's increase your HP amount. Um, let's... Um, uh, let's increase your action speed let's increase your uh, attack let's give you a hit and let's give you a shield tactics battle position also front because you know if you can just take hits that would be best he could be my tank kind of guy even though he's like the lowest level person whatever um okay so let's head on out could go talk to oh hey tita oh, here. hi still tita why are you here on the deck your designs have been attacked i was just wondering if um if everyone is okay let's see and we find don't worry, so it's located near least the fortress and their garrison isn't exactly small. Kilk is at the guild too, should get involved if things get really serious, I'm sure. That's a good point, actually. I think that Kilk is th there makes me feel better. <laughs> me too. Yeah, I actually feel a little better now. We can take control of the towers, the enemy should back off from the cities. Their activities in the cities are uh, likely a little more than a diversion from the towers. In other words, we've got no time to waste. Exactly, we best get going. Yes, you're right. See you later, Tita. Okay, be careful, everyone. Okay. Let's go in. Ooh. Ah, everyone! Good timing! Hi, Professor. Did you want us for something? 
Yes, actually, we found something quite interesting in our analysis of the data crystal. Really? Like what? Well, we've verified that ancient ornaments use quartz, something similar enough at any rate. And with the data from the crystal, we've found a way to put those ancient quartz into modern ornaments. Seriously? Holy crap! <laughs> Remember who you're speaking to! I wonder if this is like the start of like the lost quartz. Like being able to like physically be implemented. Like on a going forward basis. There's only one problem though. The slots on your orbit says design won't be able to take the quartz. We'll need to modify the slots further. A level three upgrade, if you will. So what you're saying is we can upgrade our orbits even further? Even further beyond! Exactly so. I've told Peyton what kind of modifications need to be made, so talk to him when you're ready. And if you find any quartz like that in the wild, give it a try. Yeah, you bet. We'll definitely make use of that. I'm gonna keep putting around here. Good luck with investigating that tower. Well. Ah, ah. Level 3 upgrades, ready to do them whenever you are. You'll massively increase the EP charging your armors can hold too, so I really recommend doing it. Yeah, boy! Slots. Oh, all of them can go 3. Uh, good thing I didn't use all of my Sepeth, um, buying stuff. Because I'm going to be using a lot of it. Uh, I'm gonna leave Zin alone. <laughs> because... Um, holy crap, I'm almost out of wind and water. So, yeah. Holy crap, that is a lot. Um, can I rest up somewhere real quick? Um, it's out. It's in here. And I missed that before all the DMC stuff. Linksus, uh, or Linkus used to have a remixed version of the SS3 power up as a 5,000 builder. Ah, uh, yeah. I think with the DMCA stuff, you can still get away with it a little bit, so long as you're not doing it for too long, essentially. Right? Like, if it's. I think, I think the general idea is like, if it's less than like five seconds, you're probably good. Rest, but it's better to not mess with it. It's one of the main reasons why, when I do play Tales and Symphonia, uh, I am not going to be leaving the music on. Um, well, I, I'll have the music on, but what, like in the pre-stream stuff, like where the timer's going down, I'm gonna have other music playing at the same time, and then I'll probably also have the music mixed to be lower because. Um, the only game that I ever played where audio got muted on, like, the VOD and on YouTube was Tales of Berseria. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm not gonna risk that. Again, good work so far. Right ahead down to the Carnelian Tower. Descend on the lift. Right then. Just jump on the plate and you'll be off. Okay. So, I never checked. What is my new EP total for my people? Because... I'm guessing they do it that way. Be I'm guessing the idea is at this point you're supposed to kind of be at, um, yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, because there, it's probably like the idea is you're supposed to be at like AOE territory. Like, hey, you should be using like the things that cost a lot of EP now, <laughs> and so you don't only get to cast like four times. Here you go. Just like as the most tower. Is this going to connect to the weird place too? Terrible as they are, I cannot help but think the shadow towers are the true forms of the towers. Yes, I think that's all but certain. No matter what it is, I doubt our task will be straightforward. Stay alert, everyone. Cornelia <laughs> Tower. This one's darker. Uh, no chest. Good. Ugh. I never realized how much those fire rocher balls sustained me during these playthroughs. Never in this I ate I ate my last fire rocher ball yesterday. Oh no. There's nothing in this chest, but you look so excited to open it that I didn't have the heart to tell you earlier. Smelling salts. Everything that mattered in here is gone. Come on. EP charge. No, give it back! That was my spleen! Purging bomb. You open the chest to find a message scrawled in blood along the underside of the lid. Whoever took my stuff will pay. Huh. Here, up bomb. You find the only bleak, empty void. Come on, here we go. You open the chest, realize you already looted it, then angrily slam the lid back down. 
I, okay, good. I actually... I am now appreciative of the Sabbath drops, because I'm going to need to upgrade other people's EP stuff later. You have returned. The pact is sealed. Your firstborn child is mine. <laughs> See, I always... Uh, I, I love the ones where it's just like, um, your firstborn child is mine. And it's like, okay. Uh, I roll to seduce the witch. <laughs> She, she now loves me. I have a child with her. Of course her firstborn child is hers. Gotcha. Um, whatever. I'll just physical attack these guys. Oh god, you are weak. God, look at that. Like, look at this, di look at this difference in XP. What well, gives 4 XP to Joshua and 50 and 60 XP to the other two gives him 2,000! Jesus Christ, two levels from a jobber! Oh god, nothing but nothing but nothing. Zin is weak as shit. Turn around. There we go. Because I need the preemptive attacks. Because I'm not going to be able to uh, do this using only. Um, wait, you guys. No, you guys take it. You guys take it. And uh, you take it. Good. Because he does his job. He, I mean, he does, but he is not strong enough right now. Um. How much? 2,500. One. Two. Another two levels. True distend. True disable. Um, sure, yeah. At least me having to take these fights will be good for, um, my Sepeth, uh, count. Because uh, I'm going to be low on that. Okay, he's getting there. The levels are working, and I pr and I'm going to be getting a better weapon for him in this dungeon. I I imagine. And Kyria bomb. There's nothing in the chest. Nothing. Now shoo shoo. So once I get that, that'll also help. But I definitely want to make sure that I am uh, taking every encounter I possibly can. So as to so as to God, he he is quick on the cast. Hellgate, okay. uh, Ariel, go. Ariel's nice; it hits everything in this particular setup. Um, you're just gonna move here to take a hit if need be. <laughs> like that, that's the nice part. He's going to level off of the combat, so like it doesn't matter if he gets hurt in the fight, so long as he's alive at the end. Uh, oh god, I don't like these winder ones. Um, okay, so this is one that has more lore, more lore. Lore. Um, Lord over there. So which way is progress? I'm guessing it's on the up outside. Um, craft, true flicker, soul glare, soul glare. It's such an aggressive explosion, because now he's only getting 400, so I can't bank on him leveling, because now he's about where um, uh, the others were. Okay, so down, and then, so this way is to chest progress. Gembu shell, there we go. Called it. Uh, how much? 
Yeah, 7 and 16. Good. Um, actually, I should check. Protect you. Now I have any shoes. No, okay. Revive and bomb. You know the treasure chest is an S rank bracer? Yes, treasure chests have their own bracer guild, and this chest is legendary. <laughs> Suzaku bow. There's nothing in the chest but the air inside a stranger human. Okay. So, got a bow for Kevin, which is good. Um, that's not where I came up, is it? I came, yeah, okay, so that one's also blue. Weird. Um, okay. Let's come over here. And look at this. Makes that underground facility one in order to make the seal mechanism into, um, reality. We needed both something at... M, M amounts uh, uh, we need both uh, generous amounts of energy and massive uh, facilities we to blank the blank or the using the Oriole itself. The Oriole responds to uh, things wishes and gives its boons in other words uh, wishing was uh, thoughtful uh, energy or oil. However, balloon not to blend shortly after the oil busted auto, it er, to simply blend, bustling its endless amount of whatever. Data crystal four. Okay, so let's do another. Um, let's say, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Do, 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 do. Hellgate. That. Hellgate. That. Okay, cool. He's doing 700 now. <laughs> That's that is a respectable amount of damage. And leveled up. Okay. Good. I guess I got three or four. That was plant roughly a thousand large, but uh, like the eastern side of something lake and around our uh, this. Uh, location where the uh, gathered uh, uh, something uh, led beneath there was a prayer uh, as is uh, by human that uh, had little effect on it but while avoiding the something something connected uh, the technology we had and uh, facility okay get me um, Go. Punch. Just punch it. Louder. Punch it. Louder. Okay, leveled up again, level 62. Okay, here we go. He's going to grab 404 when the construction of the underground facility was. Something underway, maybe underway. To, uh, there's any structural damage surface. The oil whose power was point ever something oil and the four that uh, tires us around the oil. The system's trying to lose. Uh, whatever. Can't. I'm basically just trying to skim read it while deciphering the words. Ah, uh, damn it. Uh, I'll use this fall. Whatever. Oh, I didn't realize that it was a target one. Okay, that's cool. Side two out four, we could not have uh, the uh, casting our blood to be on the same. We saw the something in the uh, rest deep beneath the something and requested to blank this. Uh, however, uh, under uh, the Oriole seems had come to uh, that prior was the current the city, therefore, the elimination of uh, obstacles to do that. So, to the Oriole proclaimed with the of uh, these things under the septium bands of them. Okay. Whole bunch of stuff. 
I'll be very interested to... Um, what do I get up there? There's a teleport to go back down this area. Okay. I'll be interested to read it all once, um, once it gets deciphered. Oh, bullshit. That was a surprise attack. I'm going on. See a single tear down the treasure shake. Yes, I just don't have tear ducts. But mimics do. Probably. You lift the chest over the head and shake as hard as you can. But then it comes out. Well, it was an impressive display of strength, at least. Char EP charge 3. As a search thing, your chest empties inside. Just in case you missed something last time, it gives you a splinter. Oops, it appeared. Honestly, was not expecting it. Raft. Stell, why are you so much slower? Um, let's just see what this does. My headset might be... That should be low in power. So just, I just recharged it last night. Pretty sure I did at least. Um, death Scream. Can I use Taunt? Yeah, use Taunt. Now you resisted. God damn. Heart. But Yara. Firewood. Death Scream! Nice. That's what you like to say. Um, okay. And Estelle should level soon as well. Okay. Not bad. Ruby Talisman. I never checked what the... Is it the same as the... Yeah, it's just... <laughs> where his attacks will become <laughs> an element, which isn't great in my mind. I think it's a fine thing, but it's not great. Just you. Okay. Might as well just hit you physically. There you go. Okay, leveled up. Got a new skill. Carry a bomb. You stare too long. The chest stares back at you. I yes, good. Give it. Just as angry at being robbed. It demands you build it a shrubbery. Such so a bomb. Just as empty as your soul. We've already got one. I guess. Use, use your imagination. Hellgates, there we go. Whack you. Poke you. Punish you. Slash you. There we go. I still learned true heartbreak. Nice. And Tiarl. As you crack the lid, you hear a sound like the collective wailing of editors. You let the lid drop, sealing the sound away forever. <laughs> oh no, the editors. Okay. Ooh. Oh, just my. Oh, God damn it. That's one way. That's another. And that's another. Another. Okay, so let's go with the closest ones first. Start with this one. Sister Bomb, you tell the chest to say, ah, and oblige us. Everything seems to be in order here. Blue Falcons! If you want something else, you're gonna have to sign this legally binding contract. Um. Whatever. Put those on them. 
I don't think there's an open every chest in the game trophy, but even if there were, you've already opened this one. I'm pretty sure there is. Or if there isn't, there's a check every bonus message achievement. <laughs> but I don't want that. <laughs> or, it's not that I don't want it, it's that I have no desire to get it. Uh, I don't think it would be worth the effort. You took a gamble on something being in this chest, and I'm afraid you lost. Taiji Garb. I wish you a wonderful day full of treasure chest plunder. Is Taiji Garb the one that I could... Yeah, okay. Uh, 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 yeah, let's put that on. The thing is, when I... After this, I'm gonna have to keep Zen in my party so I can de-equip him of all his stuff. That's gonna be annoying. I don't want my other people to have ornaments and stuff. Or I don't want them to have quartz that I might find useful. The empty chest stomach garbage. Let's presume that forward is the right way. Charge 2. This chest prior possessions have already pa uh, probably passed to some wandering adventure satchel. Probably yours. Grab attack. Soul Blair. Soul Blair. Soul Blair. Soul Blair. I'm gonna throw our discs at you! Oh, his ATS is so low it doesn't even affect. That is funny. Um. <laughs> hey! How's it going, Manix? Dar, yes, the good game. <laughs> uh, how's it going, my man? Hope you're doing well. Oh. Not done yet. You're not done yet. Uh, going through all the towers. Oh god, I was not expecting monster chest. Um, no one ever expects the monster chest. Uh, okay, so let's just do an attack. Attack doodle. Do this. <laughs> Okay. Uh, good, good. Just, uh, just on lunch. How are you? Is it magic? Hey, <laughs> fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used it just to see. Uh, yeah, doing pretty, doing pretty well. All things considered. Um, are you guys immune to wind? No, you are not. Um, let's be a baller and just move him there to hopefully. Damn it! No. Stop. Just be within range. There we go. Um, punch this guy in the butt. There we go. And that's cool. Um, and then you're good enough. Okay, level. No, probably just for Zen. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, long barrel three. Good thing I don't have anyone with a gun. You already looted this chest right down to the bare bottom. I want to go even deeper. Um, okay, so let's come up here and cast Latiara. Um, Latir. Okay, there we go. Let's do this. Savey doodle. Yeah. But yeah, having, having a grand old time getting through these towers. And I do like the aesthetic, though. Like, the aesthetic of these towers and this, like, subspace is awesome. Uh, watch out, this just has nothing to lose. There's no telling what it might do. Um, there we go. Sapphire gem. No idea what that does, but I got you. Uh, is the game curiously starting to pick you uh, in this spot? Oh, yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty curious. Like... Because I forget exactly what the Oriole like does and why because it, it's it's the it's the Septarian of space right that's why everything here is like yellow not exactly shy are you uh -huh. so that that would ex explain why they ca it can make like a subspace um, okay so let's look at the sapphire gem what is that uh, just straight up water elemental value times twelve equivalent to mind five okay um. What? How, what's the most water I could ever have? 
Um, 25. Okay. She has 21 right now. Eight. Yeah, that's... Do I have it? No, I don't. Okay, so what else do I need for Cocytus? I need... Shit, I'm so bad at that. Is that wind? Is that 12 wind in 5 space? The, the Orioles, they play baseball. They recommend 8 glasses of water per day. <laughs> no, not that, not that kind of water. <laughs> okay, so I need to get some more wind on... On, uh... EP4 is good, but um, how much wind was it? It was 12, so MP gives me 8. Um, is there anything I'd be willing to draw? Uh, I, I need to keep that on. Yin Yang is just good. Um, so I'm probably going to have to drop off, uh, drop off EP. Uh, do I have any other better three that would give me to... Uh, I don't have any better wind ones. Are there any... Cogs is 20, but yeah, okay. I need wind! Anyone that gives good wind? Scent gives good wind. But I need... Uh, uh, wait, it does... I could do scent. Wait, I need to get to 12, right? So... Scent does it. Um, absorb also does it. Okay, that one? How much? 899. Ugh. I don't like... I don't like dropping down to that, but... I want Cockatus. Yeah, boy! I like having all attacks. Because <laughs> now... Oh wait, okay, because I'm do because that because of that trade-off, now I'm going for a water all attack instead of hell screen. Ugh. Like, have hell scream on other people. Or a death scream, that's in the hell scream. But this one doesn't have like enemies might resist it, but they don't have like negation towards the higher elements in this game, it seems. So, it, ugh, so I'm like, the trade-off is like, hey, I'm able to get the bonus if someone's weak to water on Cockatus. It's also 90 EP, so it's probably fucking hella strong. But, you know, I'll keep it on just for right now, and if I want to go back, I will. Um, let's kill some things with it. Um, move, move, move. Uh, what's the time cast on Kagetus? That must hurt without cast. Ooh, yeah, I don't have cast on her, don't I? Uh, actually, do I have cast on her? I can't remember. Okay. Move. Move. Let's look at this bitch. Oh, yeah, look at that. 2,000. Love it. Frankly, not as uh, not as flamboyant a move as I thought it was going to be, but good nonetheless. I'm not sure you understand the definition of empty. Um, okay, so this way, proxy puppet. Jessica Taki would say, "You took my stuff already." <laughs> uh, why, hello, welcome to the treasure chest village. You sure have a funny-looking treasure chest. Uh, see, I'm pl I like playing this game. And whenever I think I'm like, oh yeah, I'm playing this game, I'm like, damn, what other games are coming out that I'm really excited about? And I keep reminding myself, like, oh yeah, ne next Friday, freaking Pokemon Arceus comes out. <laughs> like, Titanic Roar without the Titanic and without the roar, but with the damage, basically. <laughs> really wonder how many jelly beans you could fit in a treasure chest of this size. <laughs> Probably a lot, frankly. Uh, and I'm like, Pokemon Arceus comes out next Friday, and then next month, Elden Ring. I'm like, fuck yeah, Yin Yang, another one. Look, I don't know, I know I don't have anything, but we can still hang out, right? Wait, come back! Do I already have Yin Yang? Yeah, I already have Yin Yang. I 
do I have heal on someone else? Um, my three. Uh, HP two. What does Yin Yang do? Uh, combine the effects of Haze and Heal. Mm. Yeah, I don't have cast on her. Uh, but I need the wind. Um, I like the speed because it makes her go earlier in the turn order, but is cast worth the trade-off? To cut the amount... Uh, not sure. Of course, I would have to go get a cast two. No less, because I'm not going to put a cast one on it for the trade-off. But, okay. Uh, ooh, hmm. I'm about to do a boss fight. Um, let's get some CP. Oh, Petrified, lovely. I don't have to do anything. I can just move. Yeah, that's fine. Let's move out. That is fine. He at least has an S-Craft now. <laughs> Every time I cast that, was so slow. Yeah. I mean, it, it, like, I feel like in this game, due to the way you have to balance Sepeth, it's so hard to have a fast caster. <laughs> um, whereas in Cold Steel, I was able to build Elliot in 1 and 2 and Muse in 3 and 4 into just... Like artillery cannons by the end of the game that's just like, okay, I go, I cast, immediate next turn is the cast turn, immediate next turn after that is another turn. Uh, are you losing frames or is my internet sucking? Ooh, I'm dropping frames, ooh. Don't know why that's happening. Um... Uh, yeah, my... For some reason, I'm dropping frames right now. Uh, I don't know why. But... I guess I am. Uh, so... Uh, or both. No, I think it's just... I think my thing is dropping frames for some reason. Um, I don't know why. Um, but I think that this is a good place to stop, honestly. Been going for three hours. So... Uh, unfortunately, not doing a boss fight right now, but uh, I will stop here because I don't want to worry about this issue. So, uh, thank you all for joining me. I will be streaming some more Trails in the Sky Second Chapter on Saturday. Um, I hope you'll join me then. It looks fine at times. Uh, yeah, but that's just when it goes up momentarily. Um, it might be a temporary thing. Um, however, I'm not lying when I say it is... Uh, I have been alive, alive for about three hours, and hopefully it was just a recent thing where the frames started dropping. It pro it's, I think it probably only was, but um, regardless, um, thank you, uh, Manix and Fontano, for dropping by. Um, I will be streaming some more of this on Saturday, and yeah, I hope you join me for that. And Fontano, I after the stream, I will check out the. Uh, video you post in the Discord. Um, I'm excited to see. But I hope you all have a very nice night, and we'll join me next time. Bye!